Yo, what's up, everybody? How you doing out there? My name is Thomas Dobaziola, whatever you want to call me. This is Marty O'Neill. What's up? What's going on? This is the Dobas Usual Podcast. We're here to talk about life, drugs, problems, accomplishments, and everything in between. We're trying our best not to get demonetized. All right? So here we go, guys. Very, very fun episode about to happen. You guys ask all the time. Once again, bringing back Eric Khan. How you been? I'm great, man. Thank you for I'm being great. here. Thank, Thank you for, for having me here. back, man. Every time I watch shows and they say, introducing, and I just hear, yeah. Let's go. So I was kind of waiting there, like, stuff. oh yeah, man, we're just us three. Here we go. <laughs> so how, how's you been, man? I've been great, man. I've been great. Just you lived here nine that? months now. Oh yeah, it's just getting more and more used to it, man. Uh, around there, right? Here. Yeah, yeah, just about, just about I'll be coming up there and uh, just becoming a Cali man, you know? Yeah, coming to get a Cali boat. Texas and California are cousins. They're really close, yeah. for sure, for sure. Especially with like certain cities, like Austin, be like a mini miniature LA. It's pretty damn close. Cool, you, where were you from? I was born in Austin, lived there a few years, and then San Antonio. San Antonio. Really yeah, I knew it was something else. Okay. Yeah. So you've been out here, because I remember last time you came, well, the first time you came on the show, you had been here for eight days. Yeah. And we asked you, like, you've been living here for eight days. How are you liking it? I'm just having a good time. So, <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, yeah. so what's been going on with you since you've lived here? What is, or you know how I should say this, more direct. Mm-hmm. Right now, because I see you post nonstop, you, yeah. you eat a lot of crazy shit. Oh yeah, you eat a yeah. lot of fancy yeah, ass looking yeah, yeah, foods. Yeah. Have you watched this? Oh, I didn't know page? what you were getting at with that. No, he eats a lot of <laughs> cool like stuff, like designer food. Does just looks yeah. cool, man. Just Wherever yeah, you go, it's foods. just awesome looking. Right, right. What are the top three spots that you've been going back and forth? Because I know Ooh. you're in Texas, Ooh, and that's yeah, a big yeah. food state too. Right, hundred percent. But LA is more of like okay, we have a niche of this here. Right, right. right so right. where are you going all the time? Uh, first five, probably any any uh, shabu shabu spot. You know what that is. So that's, uh, I don't even know what it means, but you're supposed to say it as you dip it in, but it's a big ass, it's a hot pot, big ass boiling pot of just soup base, whatever. And then you get raw meat, dip it in there, cooks like in 10 seconds and then you eat it. And it's, it's wild. It's Wait, delicious. Like for the table, you guys do the same? Nah, it's, it's sometimes on the table, but most of the time at these restaurants, you'll have an individual bowl in front of you. You're cooking meat inside boiling ass water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's it's fire. I don't even know. What? Have you yeah, heard yeah, of yeah, this? Yeah. I mean, that's how you cook meat, right? Yeah, I mean, in boiling water. <laughs> All right, it's like boiling soup. You know, is Bro. it thin? Yeah, it's it's thin. It's thin I've slices never heard of like of real this. quality meat. You know, we got to go for sure. I took Goblin um, the other week. Me and when you guys came to, to my house, yes, yeah, sir. Oh, yes, I saw sir. it then. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I've never. Yeah, 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 that was a whole different spot though. So that's like my number two spot. That's like a uh, uh, Japanese barbecue. You just nice little array, just uh. Barbecue little pit, probably That's charcoal. Going hard. Real, yeah, real quality meat. That's the biggest thing. I mean, every every spot will have its different little grill style. They're all different. I mean, they all pretty much taste the same, but it really depends on the meat quality. And uh, you hit like I don't know K Town and you know K Town, and then there's uh, like Sawtell area in LA. They got the the fire spots, the real authentic spots. You know, I haven't been to those spots. I mean, I haven't eaten meat in a long time. Oh, but. Yeah. I'm just used a big to go. meat guy, yeah, man. I just like to my go. top three, damn. Near. It was just like, hey, man, you want to cook it? Why did I come here? That's <laughs> yeah. like, you want me to <laughs> oh, burn yeah. my, my right, face? Right, right, right. But I did the uh, hibachi, was it called? Uh, okay, right, right, right. Like, when they, they they do the fucking events and like, whoosh, yeah, fire, that shit's tight. Like, it's cool, it's I, cool. It's like egg, you're paying for a show, too. Yeah, that shit's <laughs> cool. And the Korean barbecue stuff, I've done that before, but that's when I'm like, uh, all right, I'm good. I'm going to leave. But. I haven't been to the spots in so long. Yeah. But I see you guys do. My homies go there all the time. They know right. they're like, yeah, we're not going to call you, man, because you know you don't want to go. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Hit me later. <laughs> so that's your shit right there. The, yeah. what do you call it? Shamu? What do you call it? Uh, shabu Shabu. So that's, where else are you going? Besides those, like, that's like one group. I right, just, right. I'm just curious, because I see you do all this, and I never ask, like, where is this place at? <laughs> there's, um, there's some places I don't see around, um, like, North Hollywood area, like over the hill, you know what I mean? Because I live like under the hill, like in the cut in LA. But you go over the hill a little bit, and then you get some good Italian spots with some good pasta. They cook it like in the wheel type shit. I've you seen know what that. I mean? I've yeah, seen that. I went that to um, nice. Paseo, El Paseo. Okay, okay. Yeah, I went yeah, there yeah, with yeah. my homie the other day. It's pretty cool, man. It's pretty dope. It's, it's pretty like, cool. I, I, <laughs> I see like all these rich people that you see in movies, like, oh, man, that lady's plastic looking. Because you don't, yeah, you don't see yeah. that when you see it in Persian. Like, oh. 
it's not just the movies, man. Right, right. She's eating food next to me. This is crazy. <laughs> so I went there the other day and I saw the the wheel, like a big mm. cheese wheel, right? Right. Yeah, they're big just sitting pasta. hot pasta. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. It I will is, say it's pretty something. damn cool, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You're doing all the stuff that you can cook and sell yourself or you do the hot yeah. stuff. You go to the Italian spots. I've just seen you been... What I'm really asking, I saw you eating some shit with some flowers and like some water. What was this? Oh, I think you're talking about I went to a, a little infused dinner. Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm the people like, at this? El Blunto put that on for us and it was just like a little private dinner in their facility. <sighs> we just cooked it up. They had a, a traveling chef that does cannabis stuff and he had like a seven course meal. That's Each was. one was dipped with like a little bit of just good stuff. And uh, at the end, of, yeah, good medicated stuff. But at the like, you couldn't really taste that at all. It just really just seemed like a, an insane like seven course meal that if, like foods I've never even tried like the like, combinations textures. I was like, this is fucking insane for sure. That's what I meant. I saw <laughs> the crate. I mean, it looked like art. Yeah, yeah. It looked like they placed yeah. it with 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 plot with a uh, with yeah, I felt, tweezers. I felt important. I felt yeah. Like, oh, you're shit. like, oh like, damn, this is straight like, fucking, my shirt. Yeah, yeah. They like felt like you got to tuck in my after yeah, and everything. Exactly. Like shit, it was crazy. It was the first time I ever had done like. I mean, like I get courses sometimes or whatever. Like you know, they I have a little something, that. but that something like that, like where it's like art based like that. You know, shit, and it's infused. Like come yeah, on, come on. There's a, there's some oh, there's some spots vegan spots like that that are yeah. fine dining. Right, right. That I look at and I'm like. Bro, I'm just gonna be hungry. I haven't even eaten this yeah, shit. Yet. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. I was hungry at the end of it. Yeah, I was just throwing too because I was like, man, now I'm. Just well, like, the more you eat, the more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you've been in LA for nine months. The last time we talked to you, it was brand new, mm-hmm. brand new. You just been for eight days. You stopped, and left, came to LA. How? how what's your family? I, I just want to ask, like, mm-hmm. how did your family go? All right, yeah, get the fuck out of here. What, <laughs> what, did they, what was their reaction after you left? Uh, no, nah, I like, as, as I was leaving, like I told him I was leaving and everything. Or? I know because they, you stopped school, correct? Right, right. So you stopped school, you left. And as you're here, mm-hmm. are they pissed? Nah, they're, they're just, cool. you know, they're happy for me. You know what Good, I mean? They're happy man. For me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just, uh, just making sure I'm not doing anything stupid. You know, they're glad I'm not in Texas anymore is the main thing. They're like, they were just really scared for me to get fucking arrested or like do some, you know, stupid shit. Cause you know, just the cops out there aren't too friendly with weed and everything. Yeah. So it was only just a matter of time before I had to head over here. So they're, they're happy about it for sure. Maybe not the exact, like, you know, they're not the weed, most weed friendly people ever. They tell me that I would rather be like. A doctor, you know, you should have been a doctor. Like, but at the same time, it's yeah. like, but I still like love you, and I like we like what you're doing. Like, I'm glad that you are able to do what you do. Type of cool, thing. Cool, you know? man. Yeah. So you do have the support. It's not like they shunned you and said, "Yeah, get the fuck oh, right, out of right, here. right, right." No, 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 yeah. Oh, For sure. They're real cool about it. Real cool. Sorry, it. yo, why aren't we smoking weed? I just this looked up and like, went. What the fuck is <laughs> happening? I fresh completely forgot. Yeah, no, it's all good. We'll Sorry, go I was so okay. Ad, Sorry, that was amazing, dude. So they they didn't care. Yeah, uh, I mean, they probably cared, but they weren't really trying to like slow me down or trying to like get, you know what I mean? Because some parents are like helicopter parents are like, no, you can't do that at what do, all. But what do like, your parents do? Uh, the, my mom is like a medical biller and she's starting her own little, um, she's starting. So here's the crazy thing. So she's always like done, um, like she's just always made like dope food. Like that's just been her thing. Like mama's touch kind of thing. Like just insane, like. What desserts kind of is mainly the mainly thing that's like cake balls and like fucking different little desserts and like uh oriental stuff too like you know what i mean back in the hitting into the culture what little vietnamese stuff like for, she's vietnamese oh vietnamese okay, too. okay yeah yeah yeah. so getting a lot of like home cooked meals and shit like that like better than the restaurants type stuff you know what i mean with the ingredients it's a little best, touch man. it's always of course. Oh, yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. so um she's real good at all that but i've always been telling her like these would be sick edibles. And she's like, no, no, like, I don't even want to like touch that stuff. And I was like, but there's this new stuff like that you could maybe, you know what I mean? You can get a little bit going and it's legal in all these states. And I've been telling her about like Delta eight and uh, the HHC and all that stuff. And she's, she's on board. Like she's down. And it's been taking years. It's taken years of just trying to tell her like, this is just like, this is going to hit. Like these are delicious by themselves. You can sell these by themselves, but like you could sell these extra hard if they got you high. And then she's she's down like she's we've been working wow. on it. I've been trying to like we've been building this brand for her in the past like couple months. It's it's lit. I mean, I'm super weird. excited about it. I'm super what a excited feeling. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Yes. Yeah. It's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, that's <clears throat> cool, man. Holy yeah. shit! So yeah, your yeah, parents yeah. are not only supporting it now. She's like, she's like shit. Now really? that I see what's really going yeah, on, really? like yeah, yeah. Because she's almost like she was in like the Dare program, influenced almost like damn near as much too. You know what I mean? Type shit. So like. 
bitch. It's just she know she always had that feeling. Like my family has that stigma about it too. It's like mm-hmm. damn near like heroin. Like you know because you don't even want to fucking Vietnamese touch it culture don't fuck with weed either. Oh no, so I have a lot of know. homies that are Vietnamese and right. they say the same shit. Like yeah. no, no, we hide it. But they know what we do. Right, right, right. But, but they're, they're not, not gonna, like They're pissed. not going to touch it, but yes, they're, they're yes. just going to stay away as far as possible from it for sure. Mm-hmm. And my friend's mom helps him make edibles too, uh, which is kind of fucking awesome. funny. That's yeah. awesome. When you yeah, said, yeah. Like, oh, shit, yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So um, your mom was a medical biller? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So you just school, get good fucking grades. My mom's in the medical field. You can't right. really. Do you have, you have younger siblings? I have, uh, yeah, I have three younger siblings. So I, oh. I was their only child for a fat minute, like growing up 100%. And then I got my first sibling when I was like 14. Oh. Yeah. So I was an only child. From your for mom a minute. and dad, dad had more kids when you were 14 and waited? Uh, my mom had a, uh, I was, uh, my mom was a single parent for a fat minute. And oh, then she, she got a stepdad and I got a stepdad. Or I got a stepdad type shit, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, shit. So yeah. yeah. So he's, that's the reason. That, that motherfucker's the reason I got caught. So he's, you know what I mean? Oh, you're not The first cool. time I... No, no, we're cool. We're cool. But, oh, the fir- okay. <laughs> but the first time I ever got caught smoking weed, the only time was because of him. Because my mom doesn't even know what it smelled like. Oh, she was like... Oh. Is he Vietnamese also? Nah. He's black. He's a black dude? So yeah, he yeah. Knew, he's American? Yeah. Oh, so he knew the smell just by right, being right, American. Right, 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 right. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. It was wow, dude, it was, I, it was just me and my sister <laughs> till I was 14, and then right when I turned 15, I had my little brother. Yeah. The one I just showed you the picture looks like Zendaya yeah, and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, Him, and then my dad married a lady with three kids and then had three kids. Okay. So it was just me and my sister till I was 15, then I now have like eight siblings out of mm. nowhere. It was <laughs> a change. <laughs> it was a change. Christmas is like, all right, make a checklist, man. Cause I make sure I got every single one of you wolves. So how old are your uh, younger siblings? Uh, they're a little older now. I think they're six, five, and two. So they're tiny. They're tiny. So you're literally standing there on Christmas holding up kids. With yeah, your arms. They're, they're, yeah, yeah, they're always yeah. like, they hang onto my legs and I gotta like fucking walk. Oh, you know okay, what so I mean? you're the so way older brother. That's right, me. right. I'm, I'm 15 years older. older than my little brother. Okay, no, I mean, exactly. 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 I was 15, same. he was yeah. born. And my other sister's 16, uh, f- th- 15, and my little brother's eight. So we have a huge, we have a 20 fucking five year gauge difference almost. It's pretty insane. Oh, for everyone wondering, his little puppy's right here. So if yeah, you're wondering what's that little barking, little it's little not Marty off I'm camera. I'm on my camera right? yeah. yeah. Marty's just yeah. DMXing. Get out of here. You motherfucker. <laughs> so your family reacted great. That's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really happy about that. I'm glad sure. to it hear took, It took a little on. convincing for sure. How'd your stepdad, what, did it, what was the scenario where he found you, though? Because he's new coming into your life, right? Right, right, right. So did so he just press you? or did he No, like, no, not at all. So I like, I, uh, okay, so this is, man, it's a crazy story. It's a little crazy story. You got to strap in a little bit, all right? Uh, so I'm like 17, just freshly started smoking weed, just got my license, too. So I'm feeling good, confident, you know what I mean? Just got a girlfriend. Getting a little serious, as serious as high schoolers get, and I'm meeting her parents. It's like a Friday night or something. Yeah, but it is Friday after school too, so you know you're chilling with the homies. We go to the, you know, we were hot boxing or whatever the garage, and then I'm really thinking, I'm like, man, I don't know if it's a good idea to like smoke the hot box right now. Cause what if I smell like weed later? And I'm like, wait a minute, I can just go home, shower, I'll be all right. So I'm smoking, smoking, and I say, hey guys, homies are gonna go to the mall. They're like, you want to come with us? I think about it, I'm like, mm, I guess I could air out here, but I also want to take a shower and, like, get ready and stuff. So, like, nah, I'm good. Like, I'll see you guys. I'll go home. I go home. I walk through the door, and the front door is right by the stairs. My room's upstairs. So, usually, I can slip up, go right upstairs, and then just go right to my room, chill, and um, I can just get away with, even if I smell, you know what I mean? No one has to smell. You don't even have to say hi to anybody. I walk through the front door. Boom, my mom's right there, a few feet away. First time ever. She says, oh, I'm glad that you're here. Your stepdad needs help moving the TV. Do you think you can help him? I'm like, yeah, like, let me just go change real quick. I got to, you know what I mean? I got to. It's a bad excuse. Yeah, it's a horrible <laughs> excuse. She was yeah, like, she looked at me a little weird. You got these clothes. <laughs> <laughs> she looked at me a little weird, and she was like, nah, you won't get dirty or anything. And I was like, all right. Like, I already tried. Fuck it. So I'm like, maybe I don't smell that bad. So I walk in. She doesn't say anything. I help move the TV. He doesn't say anything. Everything's cool. I think I get away with it. I go all the way upstairs. And I'm like, holy shit, holy shit. I take off my clothes. I put it in the hamper and everything. Then I hear like a little. I'm like, shit. <laughs> and I open up the door. My mom's crying. She's like, you doing drugs? And I was like, fuck. 
And I was like, I was like, I'm just like, uh, I'm just smoking a little weed. And like, I don't you, know. You admitted it right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I just said it to her. I just said it to her. I just said it to her. How old were you? I was 17. So I was like, I was like a year from coming out and everything. And I was like, you know what, mom? Like, I'm just smoking weed. Like, it's not even that bad. You know, I'm not doing anything too crazy. And she was just, you know, and the typical parent stuff, like, what did I do wrong? Like, how did it get to this? And I'm like, no, it's not like that. Like, I just do it with my homies. Like, we just like, like getting a little baked. Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Trying to explain it in the best way that I can. And she just doesn't get it. And I'm like, how did you even know? She's like, and do you smell funny? And your stepdad said it smelled like weed. I was like, fuck. He's a straight edge type of dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a straight edge? Yeah, uh, not not really. He used to smoke weed and shit back that's, in the day, but he just he like, yeah, yeah. So he just how long have you like, been with your mom till that happened? A few months. Oh, a few months. Say, he yeah, should yeah, at least let you like, slide, that's man. What I'm that's what I'm saying. He was trying to maybe be just yeah, a little. It's not a good start. Yeah, not a good. It's not a good start. That? Come not on, really. bro. What's up? Did you hate him after that or? Not nah, so not really. It was just like, bro. I didn't think he like snitch snitched me out or anything, but I was like, damn, that's kind of fucked up. But I'm sure she like, cause she said I smoke funny, so I'm sure she was just like, she would have asked or some shit anyway. I smell like smoke at the very least. She thought I was smoking cigarettes, I think she said. She's like, yeah, I smoked a cigarette. I'm very sorry. I was gambling. I, think about that. I was like, fucking playing cards. I was smoking cigarettes. You know what? I'm 17 years old. Did he know that your mom would be having a heart attack over the weed? Uh, I don't think so, no. He was just like, I think he was just answering the question. She was like, what does he smell like? like why does he smell like he that? Say to you, the next interaction with you and him. You got some weed? Did you guys both put your hands head down? <laughs> did you cross each other? For sure, for sure. Oh. It, was a little, it was a little weird between us for a little bit, but it was just like, I mean. What a bad way to start. Weird, right? And I was like, come I on. Snitch bro. on like, the guy. And it, well, especially <laughs> if it was accidental. You accidentally snitch on the fuck. Right. What if he thought right. his mom was going to be like, yeah, maybe it's shit. Yeah, yeah. He's got some fucking weed. <laughs> You're almost 18 at that point. I mean, it's like. Right, like, right. I was, I was you're living damn near there. close, but. Oh, oh yeah. Anyway, but. First, of all, I got caught, and then I realized I got my phone taken away, got my keys taken away, and I was like, "Wait, I gotta fucking go meet the parents." So I fucking stood up my ex girlfriend's parents. I like that you said ex, because <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't gonna be a good start yeah, anyway. Yeah, 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 for sure. So yeah, that shit was just like oh crazy. no, then, you just never showed bro, up. Never showed up. Couldn't contact her. You know what I mean? Got got everything taken out. I think would have pulled like, a high school move and dove out the window. <laughs> <laughs> jogged my Ferris Bueller moment over there. I don't think there's a way I could have let that happen. But that's just me and like my movie brain. Like, uh-huh. damn, the keys, everything's gone. Stepdad, this sounds like an '80s movie. Yeah, yeah, I could have escaped that hoe and just did some. Yeah, you could have, you could have <laughs> made it if you really wanted to. Yeah, but you I was know, like, eh. yeah, it was ex, it's yeah. just a couple reasons. It was a few months, and I was like, eh. what, what were you driving back then? Uh, it was my first car. It was a C250 Mercedes. It was a used Your car. First car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, everyone, yeah, it was lit. Because everyone was always like, everyone called me like spoiled and like, oh, bro, you got like the Mercedes and shit. But they had like new like Honda Accords and Civics that were like 20, 25. Yeah, like 10 racks more. And I was like, bro, my like my car's like half the price of yours. Like, yeah. it's like mine has got mine used and everything. Like a good deal. Like, sorry, guys. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> yeah, dude. What was your, did you grow up? Did you grow up with money? Did you guys grow up poor as shit? Did you guys grow up like uh, fine? Nah, like decent. My mom had to work a lot for sure. She was working like two jobs and then my grandparents raised me. Oh, same. Okay. Time. Yeah, in the same boat. So, but we weren't like struggling. I wasn't going like hungry or anything. You know, I got Christmas gifts and stuff, but oh, I wasn't like, you were a I wasn't regular like, American kid. Right, life. right. Okay, that's Just cool. like kind of chilling. You know what I mean? Yeah, not, nothing cool. too over the top. <laughs> Just, All right. <laughs> so I have a question here. I brought it up. I mean, I someone brought it, something up to me the other day and I went, I wonder if anybody else gets shit like this. Have you ever read something about yourself online that you're like, yo, when in the fuck did this happen? For sure. What For is sure. the craziest shit you've read about yourself that you go, I never did that. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> because it's weird because you're just a normal guy. Right, right. And you're just living your life. Yeah. But you got to remember that there's motherfuckers out there that are writing Wikipedias and shit because they're such big fans. <laughs> yeah. And then people, yeah, I met him at the mall. He tried to punch me in the fucking face. <laughs> what is the craziest thing you've heard about yourself online that you've read? Uh, I've had some really cool fan experiences, honestly. Nothing too crazy, but it was just a web page. It might still be like that, but the main, um, it's like the famous birthdays page. It says I got arrested <laughs> in a city at like a certain time on a certain day for like something. And I was like, I've never been like, it was like a Colorado in like 2000 and like 19. And it was like for this, I was like, I never, that never happened to me. And like, what the fuck? And it's like, if you type in like Eric Khan, it's like the third or fourth link that comes up. 
See, that's <laughs> the like, shit what the I'm fuck? talking yeah. about. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? I've read shit about myself like that. I'm like, what? Yeah. Who would like, even what? think this? Are I they like fucking so with me? Yeah. I they have to be just fucking I sent in a little like edit and I was like, this definitely did not you can happen. send in an edit? That's what I tried to do and it didn't change. Oh, they probably just thought I didn't it was trolling. Internet. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know you could like a, a rebuttal <laughs> online stuff, yeah, man. Yeah. Sometimes they do. If, if if it's a cool little website, I guess it's like, is this true? Like, can you verify this or whatever? I'm like, no, no, I can't. Shit. And I didn't. They the didn't only things it. that really upset me online were to say my net worth. I'm like, bro, fucking help me. <laughs> yeah, like I wish. I, I wish. wish. <laughs> that Motherfucker. Is crazy. I guess if I sold every single little penny I had, then maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Not even that. If they think that you get revenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're like, yeah, the net worth, my for real, Smack where, since face. when? Yeah. Oh yeah. man, for real. Oh yeah, that's not real. Oh no, I forgot yeah. YouTube doesn't pay you. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. So I heard, I read some shit the other day, and I was like, I never even, I don't, even, I didn't, never even met David Dobrik. He <laughs> said I got fucking my YouTube started off with David Dobrik. <laughs> I'm like. Isn't that the fucking big ass YouTuber? Yeah, kid? yeah, yeah. I've never it's even like seen YouTube this man. Star child and shit. <laughs> yeah, so I read a whole article about myself the other day. Like, uh, are you fucking kidding me? I don't think that kid wants to hang out with some ex drug dealer. I'm trying Maybe to book him, right? Though. Maybe have he him does. Come yeah, have him come on here and get high. I don't know. That'd be awesome. I see you're an avid fan, and I just wanted to ask. I see you're in sports. I see you have some opinions on sports. Right, so you're right. a fan. Okay, okay. Did you play sports growing up? Yeah. What did you play? Uh, I did a couple years of football from like fifth grade to ninth grade. Linebacker? Uh, corner. Why did I feel like you were yeah. like the fucking tallest kid I did. there? <laughs> yeah. I did like in fifth grade, I was a linebacker because I was a little bigger than the other kids. And then like that's high school, I was, and I was like, oh, I got a little smaller. You know what so I mean? corner. Smaller and faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No shit. That's, I feel like that is the most stressful fucking position because you're the only motherfucker out there that's either going to get burned yeah, or get fucking shit. out caught. And either one is bad. Yeah. Yeah. So how was that corner? I always played fucking line. So it was nice. never fucking okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. extravagant. And shit. It, was, it was pretty fun. They have, uh, the craziest, I guess, story that I have of doing that is, um, damn, I fucked the kid up. And I say, like, I didn't even really mean to, right? So like, I'm on the outside and then there's no receiver on my side. So I'm playing like closer to the line, you know? And then it's a pitch on my side. So, like, the running back's coming, mm -hmm. but the fullback's coming, like, right for me. So I'm like, well, there's no chance of me getting this running back. Like, this guy's right in front of me. So I'm just like, fuck it. So I'm just like, you know what I mean? Lower man wins kind of thing. I just, like, yeah. go over the low on this fullback, and I just hear, like, a big, <laughs> and he's like, oh, fuck. And then he, like, falls back. And he breaks his arm too, like on the on the fall back. And he's just like there screaming on the foot. Like I've never heard someone scream like this. I'm in eighth grade. I'm like 13. I'm like, mm. what the fuck? And the craziest thing was like it was a fat run. Like he got it like 70 yards on it. So it so was you like just got the so block. Looked, yeah, and yeah. I didn't do shit about it. And I looked over and I was like, damn, they got this. So I just ran down the field and like looked back and he was just screaming still on the field. And I was like, what, what did you fuck? break just besides his arm? I broke his leg, I guess. Like, I went, like, real low. Like, went, like, right for his, like, knee. You know what I mean? Like, I went, like, real low. You know what I mean? He was a big kid. Chop and I was like, yeah, chop blocked his Oh, that shit's <laughs> illegal, <laughs> sir. <laughs> that is illegal. <laughs> for Not that for reason. year olds Damn, he broke his leg and arm. Yeah, on the way down. He it hates you. It was fucked up. It was fucked up, for sure. Oh, hey. Eat my nose. Dog ate his homework. Dog <laughs> literally, <laughs> dog literally <laughs> ate my homework. Marty, I love you for that. <laughs> So real quick for everyone driving, I have some paperwork, my, my notes right here, and um, the puppy just ate them. I looked down. Marty's just doing this. First person ever down to actually, to actually get my homework eaten by the dog. <laughs> dog ate my homework. All right. That was an organic, organic Bart Simpson moment. I appreciate it. I'm not even mad at it. It's fine. Just I don't want him to get sick. Hey, don't, don't do that. All right? Yeah, come on, buddy. So you broke this this young boy's arm and leg yeah, in eighth grade. Yes, yeah, fucked up. Did you was that team like in your town or was it a traveling? Ah, uh, no, it was all in town. So you had to see this kid again eventually. I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I think he recognized me. I don't know. He recognized yeah. you, bro. <laughs> you think the kid during summer didn't? Go, that <laughs> thinking about it the whole time. That motherfucker. <laughs> yes, with a broken arm and leg. <laughs> yeah, he remembers you, man. And now he sees the videos and like he doesn't even want to bring it up. Because some of his friends watch your shit, I bet, and go, I don't even want to tell you guys. I don't even want to tell you guys. You're going to be on his side. You guys are his fans. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing he can say. Like, well, he did a better job. But also, he did block you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just, yeah. He, he did, did block, block you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did That's you guys facts. win that game? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, oh. I don't know. We were pretty ass. 
You guys sucked? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. So you played for a couple years of football? Yeah. Did you yeah. play any other sports? Track. After I quit football, I did track. Are you fast as hell? Uh, I did you're jumping. Pretty, I did jumping. I'll say you're pretty tall, yeah, bro. I feel like you just, just lengthy. Yeah, you could jump. Um, you did high jump? Uh, I did a little bit of high jump, but it was mainly triple jump and long jump. Triple jump doesn't work in my brain. It's like, yo, hyper extend your knee, fuck your leg up, <laughs> jump again. Like it doesn't make sense. A little skip hop step. Just, yeah, I've seen my homies do, but they're all fucking <laughs> gangly and tall guys. I just envisioned the Eric Khan push trees collab where he's running with the fucking big joint. Right <laughs> like uh, a javelin. <laughs> I like that. Right over the hey, ball. the Winter Olympics just fucking passed. Oh, we missed yeah. this opportunity for that. Did it, already, did it end? Did we win? I don't. Did we win? <laughs> I don't know. I stopped watching. I, I, I mean, I really watch, but I don't really watch the Winter Olympics as much. Right, right. But I do like all, it's all the same. Shit, they're the just like shit. Yeah, they're just sliding <laughs> on different fucking stuff. <laughs> Yo, I almost did it again, Marty. Try to light the mic. Yep. Oh. Almost did it again. <laughs> fucking Pookie over here. Sorry, <laughs> my bad. So, sports. You did play sports. You did track and field. Were you any good at track and field? Uh, I was pretty decent at it. Yeah. I was I was placing a couple of at meets and stuff. Yeah, cool. but I wasn't going to like the regional shits or anything mm. like that. You know what I mean? I was cracked as kids on my team, and I was just like, honestly, I was the only like Asian kid ever that I was always doing that shit. You know what I mean? Were you smoking before the meets and shit or not yet? Not yet, not yet. That was really that when I started smoking heavily. That's when I just stopped doing sports. Mm. You know, yeah. Yeah. That's that was a theme me. On the show. That was me. Yeah, that's a theme on the show. <laughs> Everybody, oh, I just really started smoking a lot. And, you know, I just <laughs> stopped. I stopped playing football because I had a dazed and confused moment with my coach. You ever seen dazed? Oh confused? yes, bro. He wanted me to cut my fucking hair. What? Because he said only women have long hair. <laughs> and our number one wide receiver, the kid with the biggest afro ever, he was always on him about cutting his fucking hair off. That's I mean, the kid had a fucking full afro. You're going to ask him to cut it? With the fucking helmet, no, though? he's just a fucking... He's just a fu dick that man. fucking dickhead. Yeah. Crew cut. Probably got punked when he was younger. But now he's like... I've seen the kid rep 450. The coach, though, like, like it's nothing. Yeah. So it's, I also don't want to fight you. <laughs> but also, I fucking don't like it, man. You're a dickhead. Why do you want me to come in here? So I stopped playing sports because of that. And I was doing drugs. And then I started selling drugs. But... I just I once wanted busy. to ask. Too busy. Yeah, I was too busy not doing productive things. <laughs> so I wanted to ask. I see you. You're an avid sports fan. You're also a Saints fan. Yes. Okay. Yes. How did that happen? Living in fucking Texas, because I'm yeah. a Packers fan living in California. Nice. So nice. I get. I'm sure you get shit on for it. Yeah, yeah. Some people ask me that all the time. But the first people that I started watching football with. Where um like people on fucking Xbox. I was like eight or nine or something just playing Xbox. And then the people in my party were like, yo, Eric, like put on the game. And I was like, what game? Like, I don't even know what y'all are talking about. And they were Saints fans. So I was just watching like Saints fans like on Xbox Live with these fucking random people. Because you didn't have a hometown team, right? Nah, no, and I was San in San Antonio. Antonio. And then I hated fucking Cowboys fans. It's Drew Brees for you your whole life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you're it's younger than me. Yeah, I was like, when yeah. you were not... Drew Brees just retired. You watched your whole life with Drew right. Brees. Right, Drew Brees was like the whole, like every entire, t every entire oh, years. Yeah, Tim Duncan and Manu and shit. Oh yeah, that was, I was yeah, I was a big Spurs fan for sure. But we didn't have a football team, and then I just didn't really like the Cowboys fans. They were real annoying. So, with Drew Brees being gone, how do you feel? Sports is one thing because Marty's a Bills fan. They got shit on for the for oh, his whole life. The Bills are looking good. Nowadays, Bills are looking so. good. They just keep yeah. fucking letting it slip. Ah, Packers, like I'm lucky that Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers my whole yeah. existence of life. He might be back to too, back. Huh? Yes, so I'm in the boat with you guys coming up because mm. the Saints were fucking the shit. My mom's a Saints fan and a Bears fan, mm -hmm. so I, I mean the Saints are great. Yeah, the, that motherfucker. What's his name? The backup uh, Hill. I fucked Taysom with Hill. him. He's Not the backup, whatever. but he's like. Doing the whatever right he needs. Hand man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you seen this guy? Oh. He's an all-in-one. He's a receiver, a fucking quarterback, and a running back. Uh -huh. right. He's a badass. What are the, what's the future for the Saints? Because you, I've seen you go off. Fuck, I've seen you man. have some Fuck, opinions some about bullshit. sports. Yeah, for sure, and this one's sure. like calling out owners, like the fucking owner. Of blah blah blah. I'm like, yo, you watch sports. <laughs> I don't watch sports like that. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Uh, shit. I think we're gonna just re-sign Jameis. Hopefully, give him Who's another that? shot. Jameis Winston, our quarterback. For the season, for the Saints, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was the Hill dude. Uh, at the end of the season, because Jameis Winston got hurt, but we were looking good with Jameis Winston. We were like four and one or something. We beat the Packers. It's, good. it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Do you want another joint? Do you want to light up? Uh, 
Oh, I'm gonna finish blunt. this one. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. oh, I'm down to light it. I'll light, I'll light it up down. after yeah, that. I'll smoke that with you. Don't okay, try, don't okay. try. So, Saints, I just wanted to ask you about sports, man, because I see you. Also, you're 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 a, you're a brave man. This man has a Twitter following and follows no one. <laughs> <laughs> Only the president's allowed to do shit like that, man. <laughs> How do you find your news if you're not following people? I have like another account that I just like, I guess my personal account. Oh, that I, that, so you, you just see I mean? stuff like that. Right, that I follow. Because like, I always, I'm, just, like, I'm not good with Twitter, man. Right, I'm, I'm right. always like, I have to follow people to see stuff, right? Yeah. Mm. I literally find something and then I'm like, I go over to the other account and then talk about it's it. It's fucked up because <laughs> Twitter seems like the friendliest place for you guys, but it's like oh, nobody yeah. gives a fuck. Right, right. It looks great. I love yeah, Twitter. Twitter's cool. Twitter's cool. It's uncensored. You can yeah, just that's say. what I'm saying. But it's like you can just say. I see like more like titties and weed and like. Oh, shit, me and Rosie crazy. talk about it all the time because we have some. We have a couple of friends that do are like porn star chicks. Right. So we fo- we don't follow them on Twitter, and I'm, I'll be in public, and the shit they like. Yeah. I got to do this in the public. Like, I just do this. Man. Oh, yeah. I'm getting off the head. <laughs> People are gonna think I'm a fucking creep. <laughs> Rosie, all the time. I've seen her do this in public. I'm like, oh, you're on Twitter? She's like, fuck, dude. Twitter's Let me exit out of Twitter and go get in the car. <laughs> Twitter's one of those apps It's for fucking sure. crazy. It's because whatever it awesome. they like, you see. Yeah, whatever they weird. comment, you see. Anyone that you That's follow. That's why you'd want to have a private profile. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> sure, yeah, I get it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're smart. <laughs> see, because I'm telling you, me and Rosie Bolgo, we can't even open Twitter in public. People will think we're fucking creeps. So yeah, um, It's crazy. That's why I'm like, like, yo, Twitter. only the president, motherfucker, is allowed to follow no one. <laughs> yeah, he crazy. knows that fucking trick. Yeah, that's a good oh, trick. That's yeah, a good yeah. trick. It's dangerous out there. But then I would never see people's stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. why. So you got to be on like the main account all the mm-hmm. time. And then if you exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So that was one of my questions. Um, so what do you, th- oh, back to what I was saying. What do you think the future is for the Saints? What's going on? What do, what do you think? Do you think <sighs> you're going to have a, a run of like a couple of years of being off? Oh, I'm a Saints fan. I think so. I think I think we're gonna have a couple years left. Of, it depends if Jameis is, you know, just as good. If our defense can keep up, I think we'll just still be in the playoff hunt. It's got to be the right like opponents, you know. They got to be at the right time, right, right, perfect thing. I don't think they're good enough. They're gonna be good enough to be like that team that just stomps everyone, but mm-hmm. like that that Forty ers team that just like kind of sneaks in, you know what I mean? And like has somehow That's wins type it. shit. That's a good way to put it because yeah, I don't know yeah. how the fuck the Niners made it this year. Yeah, deep. They made it they deep. Made it, they beat hella teams. They, they made it to the Super Wait, almost one to the game, Super Bowl. One game off the Super Bowl. <laughs> I was shocked. The NFL is rigged for sure. Oh, NFL like, is rigged. Yeah, 100%. Do you think the NFL is rigged? It's scripted as fuck. I, I'm just, I don't know enough to even fucking speak WWF on it. WWF now. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I've heard that it before. It is. It's fucked up. Yeah. And there's too uh, many clips I've seen that go, oh, you motherfuckers. Yeah. You can see the things. tide changes yeah. in like people like, you let that go? You couldn't tackle him? You're a lying motherfucker. Yeah. But they're getting paid, bro. Yeah. They're getting paid millions yeah. of dollars. What's a 50K bonus you can make in one play by going, hey, man, when you make a cut, just slip and don't get that first. Perfect. They're probably at the end going, um, I got seven calls. Okay, you guys owe me 32000 You know what I mean? Like, you guys owe me this. I just watched yeah. Any Given Sunday again. Oh, pro Same Jake shit. Fox is a wild man in that mm-hmm. one. Same sure. exact scenario, right? That happened in that movie, right? Yeah, with yeah. a, isn't, I can't, isn't Gene Hackman? Do you watch every, Any Given Sunday? No. It's a good-ass fucking Such football movie, so bro. Mm. Cameron Diaz, you got fucking It's a blockbuster of a football movie. Jamie Foxx is like... Oh, Cool J and Sherrod. Is is LL Cool J too? I think so. Yeah. Like Rudy level? It's a good movie. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, no, Rudy. No, nah, not Rudy. <laughs> Rudy's a whole different one. <laughs> different, different kind of ones. What is it, Sean Astin? Motherfucker from Stranger Things now is Rudy. Damn, you know people yeah. for real. Uh, that's, that's who that is. That's who it is. The fool for fucking 50 first dates. So, next question. Since you've moved here, I know the answer is going to be yes, but I want to know what it is. Have you seen yourself just get more opportunities since you oh it. yeah easily for sure they just like the doors are just like open you know like you, i feel like before you would have to like almost scavenge for them like really dig through it you know what i mean yeah really just grind for it but now i have to like grind through all of them for the good ones type shit you know <laughs> what i mean like it's it's, it's like a cool it's feeling different. To know. yeah yeah it's like a whole little flip it's like, yo, I don't have enough customers to, oh, fuck, who do I want to work with? Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. exactly, exactly. That's almost how it feels like. Because it's, it's from you, 
If you took every single thing that people threw at you, you'd be posting 60 videos a month. Yes, exactly. A hundred percent. Right? Right. So when people go, man, man, all you do is sponsor videos. I'm like, no, 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 no. If you really wanted to know, <laughs> I, I, it would be crazy if yeah. all I did was sponsor videos. Yeah, then you would 100 percent know. But you're, yeah. you're the same way, like grinding on like a second channel and getting these other yeah, avenues I going. Have to, like, dude. You know what I mean? Like, it's What is your second about. channel? Uh, more Eric Khan and more Eric Khan, more Eric nice. Khan. and it's a car channel. We've been running up in numbers. It's been pretty cool. Only man. cars, yeah, only car channels. Good um, shit. No smoke or anything, and um, it's been cool. It's been cool. The growth has been cool. Uh, we just hit fifty k. Good shit. Yeah, so I'm trying to get my fucking plaque because they yeah. never gave me my plaque, man. I got, I got one for I my know. second channel. I saw that shit, bro. Ooh, when I got so when we got ours, awesome. I was like, whoa, this is what it's like. <laughs> Being a normal dude. I need dude. that shit. I need that shit, man. All right, cool. They actually appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. The other communities are crazy. Have you ever noticed? Like, other communities are almost like more hostile or something. Dude, weed communities are cool. You dude. know, they're chill. People are violent. Yeah, and internet comments are like, what the? Fuck? Internet comments are fucking <laughs> insane. If it's not in the weed community, the weed community yeah. is about ninety six percent cool. Right, right. And then you get like some you don't dummies. Even, you don't even smoke. Yeah, you get some people that <laughs> are 14 real going, stupid shit. well, my dad said, <laughs> but your dad's a tweaker. You smoke a mess. Shut the fuck up. But in the car community, in the weightlifting community, in the makeup community, you'll get a girl dedicated to my grandmother. Fuck your grandma. Yeah, in the yeah, comments, like, yeah, yeah, I hope yeah. she fucking dies. Yeah, like, she saying. is dead. It's a dedication. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, people are hostile, so you're yeah. getting all the people in your car. Bro, crazy. That car sucks. Like, it's not even $6 million. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Or not even that. They'll go after, like, they'll be like, what the fuck is this little Asian kid doing in this whip? Like, they'll be like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. And they'll be like, he doesn't even drive it right. Or, like, I would drive it so much better. Though they're like, then go buy one, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah I get that a lot. <laughs> this fucking fat Mexican piece of shit beaner. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking shit. I get that a lot. Fucking piece of shit being I get that all the time Like damn dude People are crazy on them bro. Yeah on my second channel Yeah yeah on the second channel On the exactly, second channel It's exactly. like all family friendly And You're just right. like Yo YouTube <laughs> Your shit's backwards You're letting all this hatred On the family friendly But letting the nice stuff When we don't get paid It's crazy That's weird I, was, I wasn't even aware of that. I would never paid even for the uh, thought of that <laughs> You paid for the abuse <laughs> Yes Yeah it's yeah. insane It's insane I saw your What was it Uh like cruise through LA. What was it Midnight Drive or some shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will yeah. post on the second channel. It looks like if you're any other state, you're anybody that likes cars. That's the fucking direction you guys are hitting. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, it's, like, it's, it's like GTA type it's shit. Exactly. Like, it's exactly. It's like, yeah, yeah. And I always get those comments. They're like, "Eric's living that GTA life." And I'm like, I'm just kind of driving down the boulevard, but like, yeah, I can but record yeah, that is it. The and shit then from the GTA right yeah, there. Yeah, same yeah, buildings yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. It's weird going to Venice and Santa Monica. You're like, oh, that's too much for me. Right. I've shot motherfuckers in the game <laughs> right here. We did a stash house. Guys there the other day. Nice. And, and Santa and Monica, yeah. and I put it in this part of the stairs at by the pier. Yeah, I'm like come get it. And somebody DM'd us them getting the same exact spot in GTA. Like, where's it at? Like, that was it's pretty good. Wow. That was pretty good, you motherfucker. <laughs> That's the awesome. exact same spot that I posted. Damn. Dude, GTA goes hard. They GTA, go hard. Yeah, for sure, bro. Did you see they they made a little tweet that they're working on the sixth one. Yeah, GTA six. It's well, yeah, crazy. It's coming. I hope it's fucking. It's, it's, I hope it's in minute. Miami. It'll take a minute. Can we crack my best idea of all time real quick? See if the people like it. Yes. Put that out there. Uh, yes, because we had Franklin on the other day. Nice. On here the other day. That's awesome. And I was thinking about something like this the other day. Then right before you got here, Marty had this idea. Go. We go ahead and take all the audios from Thomas's favorite famous story time series. Mm-hmm. All these existing episodes. There's got to be what fucking how many of them? Two hundred. We take all the audio. We license it to Rockstar. And we get the story time channel on GTA 6 when you're driving around. You can just, just be listening. listening to the story times as one of the channels. It'll be the nice. talk radio channel. Yeah. I wonder if there's like a, oh, there'll be a podcast section. Like yeah. Instead of music, have to music be. There podcast, has to be. you can listen to Remember part three? Laszlo. Laszlo, oh, the yeah, crazy yeah, ass yeah, fool yeah, talking yeah. on the radio. <laughs> that would be sad. I told Rosie, hey, what if I told him like, yo, let me be Laszlo. I was be the motherfucker that's talking on the radio the whole time. And then Marty brought that up. That is epic. Yeah. That's the metaverse shit. Mm-hmm. We need that. That's mm-hmm. a metaverse shit. I saw on your uh, stream that you're, you're still doing NFTs. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are you NFTs, doing? Man. What are you doing? Like, uh, what do you think? Just, what are you investing in? Uh, I'm just buying like these little art projects that are like hyped up. You know what I mean? Buying and selling them and just seeing which. Because there's like, there's probably like a dozen projects that drop a day. And then it's like probably one or two of them are probably worth anything. 
and then probably won't be worth anything in like a week. So like you just gotta oh. find. There's like probably one a month that's gonna be worth like a lot, a lot, a lot. That's gonna like go crazy, crazy. But you really just it's just really just like flipping. It's almost like flipping penny stocks or some shit almost. Like you're just digging through the mud, like flipping for double Trying three times okay. sometimes. Like sometimes taking a loss here. You can like flip it for this, you know. It's just, it's kind of fun. It's like literally just like trading cards or something yeah, like that. Yeah, right I told now. my friends it's Pokemon cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think it has a lot more utility in the future, but I could I it, right now as it stands, like I, I can see why people like hate on that shit because I mean a little price barrier to get into it i suppose and then mm -hmm. it's not as much as people think it is but i think nfts have a huge future for sure and everyone like all these companies know about it and everything and you know what i mean like it's it's gonna be the future but i think right now it's just in a really really early stage where it's just these it's like trading cards right now like that's the it's just yeah. glorified trading cards right now but it's gonna be cool in the future am i missing something because i hear people say about like environmental shit related to yeah, NFTs. Yeah, what is yeah. that please explain so, what the fuck does that mean <laughs> so there's like two different ways to verify all of the information that is like available on the blockchain and one of the ways is slightly like harmful into the environment they're like they're blowing it up to be honest with you but there are cases where like like mining all this crypto definitely isn't good for the environment because it's like running all this electricity and everything you know what i mean like there's you know what I mean? But the like, electricity is what they're worried about? Yeah, yeah. It's like a big, because um, to prove that this information is real, it's just like it takes a but lot of power. The electricity is already, they're paying Right, for it's the already power. going. Exactly. Like, it's already all going, but they're just finding something to like, complain about it. But they're already That's working it? on, yeah. And they're already working on okay. something to like, there's like, like I said, there's two different ways. Uh -huh. The first one does take a lot of like more electricity and a lot more power, but the second way is like very clean, very efficient, and it's even faster. Okay. And that's like what it's working towards. You know what I mean? So I that's thought how there was child labor happening somewhere over the. No, 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 no. I don't there's know why I was no thinking like oils and getting <laughs> pumped from the ground. <laughs> no, what no, are they talking about? It's just a matter of like, and shit. It's just like every trade you make, like it's like turning on a microwave for thirty seconds or something, and it's like fuck you. That shit happens anyway. Like. You know what I mean? But that's their excuse. And it, it, honestly, maybe it, maybe it is good. Use like, more electricity. Right, that. right. There's a hundred things that they probably do that are more harmful. But yeah. that's, I mean, I guess if you want to say it's a valid complaint, like, yeah, it, it it's probably valid. uses, it it's uses valid. too much electricity and it's going to work towards using less, but it's nowhere near as like harmful into the environment as people. They're basically saying, while I'm using the internet on my phone, to tell you that you're bad for the environment, I'm also <laughs> being bad for the environment by taking away from the bandwidth that they have to use more energy because I'm on the bandwidth, correct? <laughs> right. So they're contributing at the same time by telling you that you're fucking up. Yeah. Driving uh, a car for like a couple miles probably I, fucks up the environment. I get that. You that's know what bad. I mean? Yeah. Our cars <laughs> use a lot of fucking gas. A lot. I understand the car thing for sure. Electric cars do scare me. I don't really... They scare... Because it's like, yo... Turn off the electricity in LA. Like, no one's car works. That's fucked. Fuck. That's fucked. Only that's the crazy. old dudes and Chevelles yeah. and Impalas are walking, are driving around town. Like, that'd be that's it. True. We'd all be fucked. I'm good. I'm good on the electric car for now. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. I completely. Oh, NFTs. So, since the last time, I still, my friends do it heavily. But mm -hmm. last time, you're the first person to kind of explain it to me. Mm -hmm. That my friend is heavily, heavily in the NFT. Does the nice. board ape things? And yeah, like yeah. All Ooh. the crazy Ooh, investments and right, shit. Right, right. And I see it, and every day he has a huge screen in this. And we're always every time I go there dabbing, it's just a huge screen like this. And he's just looking at all his shit, buying, and doing this, and <laughs> typing in the little number to the thing. The rarity, seeing like how fucking. And he's all. I don't know, but I'm like, so how much did you buy it for? How much did you sell for? It's all you give a fuck about because I don't yeah. get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, well, the utility on this is very <laughs> rare. Look at this, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> well, so you made $400,000. You just say that, motherfucker. <laughs> because I'm like, no, I don't care about the utility and the rareness. Like, nobody's mutated. I'm like, that's kind of cool. <laughs> also, just cash me out. I don't want, because they, they don't get their money back. They just put it into the next project. Right. So they're right. making money, but they're mm -hmm. it's like, I feel like it's a gamble. Yeah, it's like, a big it's like letting it ride. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a, as it stands right now, like yeah, just like collectible cards or anything else is a gamble. It's it's the same way for sure. Yeah, unless they have cool utilities. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely some with cool utilities that are that, that people are trying to implement because that's like the future of it. Like having NFTs for a lot of shit is going to be the future. Because another thing that people say, like another argument against it, is like 
everything that we do right now is already possible. We don't need NFTs anymore. Like, we don't need NFTs because everything, you know, we already do it. But like, that's the line. That's the same argument with like, we don't need iTunes because we already have LimeWire. Like, why do we need that? You know, this is, why, where do we need, way to put it. why do we need Facebook if we already have Friendster and uh, MySpace? It's like saying, like, why right, do we like need condoms? Is. We have herpes. <laughs> 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 it's like, yo, it makes it better. What the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, there's like, yeah, there's influence. There's some somewhat of a basis of what it can be, but like, Every single company that's like, I feel like every single billion dollar company is working towards it. Like, have you seen like Nike and then like Adidas? Adidas dropped. Adidas is I hope doing he's bought it. all that shit. Yeah, for sure. And Spider-Man then like, Spider Man drop. Yeah, Marvel is working. Everybody with knows NFTs what the fuck they're doing. Like, yeah, for sure. Like, if you gotta, you just gotta move where the money's moving. And you see all these people that see the future of NFTs and the mm-hmm. utility of NFTs and what they can be. It's, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. Cause it's like, you can just do a lot more shit with that. I think the biggest thing was like that trading card aspect would just be elevated to like everything. Like if you have a fucking ticket to the Rams game and then I have a ticket to like this fucking music concert, like you, well, you want to trade and you just swap it instantly. Then you don't have to fucking yeah. do anything else. You know what I mean? Like, like you were saying contracts. Yeah. Instead of having this much paperwork. Yeah. You yeah just yeah. fucking boom, file. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. Quick little. NFT. I like that. Or they were saying albums, songs, instead right. of purchasing, you just bam, NFT got it. Yeah, yeah. And, and a big thing with like, picture. right, yeah, a big thing with artists as well, if you want to sell like your art, like if someone, like the person who painted this wanted to paint another one, a one-off and just digitize it, sell it as an NFT. Let's say they sell the first one for like $1,000 and then it becomes really, really rare and they the next person, that person sells it for $10,000. Normally the artist doesn't get any sale of that secondary money. Like, as it stands right now, like, it's it's impossible. Like, yeah. you just can't do that. But with NFTs, you can set a creator royalty so you get how a certain percentage of every single sale that that NFT forever. lives on forever. So that's, like, that's huge. That's, like, game-changing. That's, like, that's... The secondary sale, my friend explained that to me. It's right. Mind-blowing. It's, 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 it's going to change everything. Like, it's going to change. Like, that's how Nike's going to implement it because they're not getting any cut of this secondary sales, like of the stock X and of this goat shit. Nike wants to fucking Isn't cut that of that. crazy? Mm. <laughs> can <laughs> they disapprove gonna... your NFT or can you upload? Is everything approved? That's the right file format. Um, so, yeah, you can upload pretty much anything as an NFT. You can be a GIF or a music file or like mm. anything. It's just really binds it. And NFT is just like, um, it's really just like the contract behind it. So, but they don't like censor it at all. No, no, no. Um, certain it kind of depends. There's certain marketplaces. It's um, you can just list an NFT and it it holds it in your wallet, but you need to list it onto a marketplace so people are ac- able mm-hmm. to buy that. So there's a whole bunch of different marketplaces. OpenSea is the biggest one, and they're already going under like under like controversy and fire because they're not like truly decentralized. It's still a company at the end of the day. So they're able to like private some listings or like halt sales or something like uh, this. So like people are working to build these platforms. Right, right. People are working to build these platforms that are like completely decentralized, like not controlled by anybody. But that's also crazy too. Like the whole concept of just like no authority at all. Like if something were to get stolen, because that's a big thing about NFTs. Is like people told getting me. scammed and everything. Yeah. Like there's no some guy lost his whole right. You can't hit up. Yeah, you can't hit up. Who do you like call? yep, exactly. You can't hit up anybody. He's got to be cops. It's the wild, wild west out here, man. They you stole your be, shit. They stole your shit. Right. So one really good hacker could fuck up this entire Earth's NFT. One guy. Um, so that's another thing with OpenSea. They were going through this little controversy and. Um, some they were migrating all listings to a new network or some shit but um some guy found a way to manipulate that contract and get into people's wallets and he was draining people's shit one by one oh. just like and people in the it's all public right the the blockchain and, and you, you can see, see it people were refreshing and watching this guy steal people's shit one by one and they couldn't do anything about it and people were like yo like and people were just like emailing open see like twitter like what the fuck are you doing like can you fix this and they're like we don't even know what's going on right now. And they're just refreshing, refreshing. Like he's taking oh. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars and crazy shit. Is Did it catch him? Nah. Oh! Nah, of course not. Of course they didn't oh. catch him. He's chilling right oh, now. He's what a chilling. He's probably a fucking 14 year old <laughs> That's kid. what I was thinking from like Taiwan. He's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I like he's your, like the top 10 <laughs> kid in fucking Taiwan right now. Just from he's just fucking, fucking living <laughs> blank check lifestyle with <laughs> gold uh-huh. chains. Yo, it's probably a kid. 100%. You know how many kids out here are just smarter than everyone? Yeah. Love Being a kid right in, now with the computer. information, you're... Did you watch Dexter's, Dexter's Laboratory? Oh, remember yes, remember, sir. Remember yes, the episode sir. where he's like, I want the potion that... Or the 
chip that makes me have every knowledge in the entire universe and yeah. his head gets too <laughs> huge that's <gasps> some of these kids right now hacking yeah. <laughs> all right yeah, they're texting their slap yeah. um all right well nfts well, i just want to talk because this is the first time the first time you came here we talked about it and it's been nine months and since mm -hmm. then all i've seen is it explode exactly that's what you said weird. is exactly what's happening I watch yeah. these big companies and like Nike's gonna be in this. <laughs> Never gonna be in the things exactly what's happening. Yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah, good call. You're you're on camera calling it. All right. <laughs> um. So here we go. I pulled a couple quick fan questions. Just oh, so go you know, go go! Fan nice. questions go for we it. We haven't done that mid episode yet. Mm -hmm. You just pulled them right now. Yeah. Oh, fucking Ooh. run it. We got three of them. Sprinkle okay. in. Good shit. Go. Best drink for cotton mouth. Coming in from XR Ryan XR. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's all right. Let's go, Ryan. Um, damn. If, if we're going to be born, it's got to be water. Just like all day. Ice cold water. Like, wow. It's all I'd ever say. Yeah. Water. Yeah. Wow. That's really surprising. For sure. What else are you I mean, I, yeah, no, I hear you. I fucking yeah, hear you. But like, I'm going spray. I'm sorry. Oh, spray. Yeah. That Sometimes drains it's a little you. too carbonated, though, and it's like. It drains cool, you. Like, yeah, After a really basketball really game, drinking a Sprite is awesome. <laughs> but about 16 seconds later, you're going to go. I need water, man. <laughs> I'm fucking going to throw up. Kobe Bryant made uh, it look so fucking cool, but yeah, it doesn't true. work. <laughs> Are you picky about your water, though? Like, as far as... Oh, yeah. seem like you got a brand. Oh, yeah. Are you, uh, are you a water If I'm thirsty enough, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, oh, okay. If I'm thirsty enough, you, you know what I mean? Alkali yeah. Shit. Out here in LA, they have I'm so many spots. It's too easy not to have... Don't drink the water. purified water. We learned that on the Oh, podcast. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, no don't purified. drink purified water. Don't drink distilled mm. water. Yeah, I've been trying yeah. to, a lot of people, especially out here, have been trying to put me on the new water game. Is that, is that the LA thing? Quality well, I mean, water. the water here is trash. True, it's so true. bad here. That makes sense. That makes the sense. pH, or what was it, the pH level? I can't remember what it was. The parts per million ppm, we tested at my first apartment. Oh. And Rosie was looked it up like on a Google. Device or something? Yeah, we bought the little pH tester. We did the tap water. We looked it up on Google and what the safe the safe number is it's like 60 or some shit ours is 630 something i remember going oh. like over six something and we were drinking that shit it's before we realized what the fuck we were doing yeah dude the water out here is toxic don't drink this shit yeah, yeah don't all right this is out so what's up what's up with these got some nice little new anova blunts that i came out with man collaboration with el blunto okay so tell us right now for everyone that just popped in and goes who is this Eric guy? I've never seen him before. Or maybe they're fans and just haven't seen it all. Mm -hmm. Anova, go into that. That's your company? Yeah, Anova's so, my company so that I started. give us the breakdown. Uh, I would say the easiest way to explain it would be like, like a marketplace. I almost want to say, I would compare it to like a SoundCloud for like certain artist type shit. But that's like a weird way to put it. Nah, not so. Like a marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> like an so, eBay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like an eBay. So, um... I would compare, here's the, because I'm so weak, the easiest way to compare the glass market would be to like the music industry type shit because there's a couple artists that run the game and then there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of artists that don't really have like a, you know what I mean, that, that big of a following. They're mm -hmm. making glass and they're just trying to make ends meet or they're making dope, dope art and then no one's really seeing it, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. my platform Anova is a weekly based drop thing. We collaborate with artists around the country that are just not really being seen. We drop a kind of like space themed, like that's kind of like the theme purple, like spacey. Uh, we use a lot of crushed opal and all the glass from the artists that we have. And we just highlight different artists every single week and give them, you know what I mean? A little check, a little something. They yeah. get a check. We get, um, they get more exposure. The people get dope glass at a dope price. Um, and you don't have to go to a shop for it or anything. It's shipped right to your door. And it's just like a kind of like a win-win-win for everybody. You know what I mean? So when is the weekly they sale? Every single Monday at 4.20 p.m. Pacific oh, nice. Standard Time. Every Monday at 4.20 basically. Yeah. Do you, when do you tell everybody what the new drop is? Uh, usually that Friday. So, Friday so they have Saturday. the whole weekend to get ready and yeah, shit. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, so I what's the Instagram? Going. At Nova.ig. At Nova.ig. And yes, what's the, the website? Uh, Novasmoke.com. Anovasmoke.com. Yeah, yeah. Anovasmoke.com and Anova.ig. Yeah. So basically, support the artist. If, yeah, support the glass. If artists. you go there on Monday, it's not a, is it a raffle? Is it. It's just a first come, first serve. Oh, whoever, shit. So it's like a supreme it. drop. Is yeah, what you're saying. yeah, yeah, yeah. First come, oh, first serve. Oh, it's a limited edition drop. Sales. We got to just make sure you're fucking, you know what it's I mean? The worst, like, bro. I mean, it's good. Yeah, but, but it's, it's like, like uh, it kind of feels like a good, piece of but I'm shit. like, fuck, yeah, I know. Like, I was on there at the beginning. Right. And I know how that feels too. Like, I know exactly how that feels. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's the 
first. Yeah, okay, so you do them every Monday right. at four twenty, and yeah. you uh, you announce the artist on Friday. Yeah. So from that, now you're collaborating with El Blunto. And El Blunto is yeah. a legal uh, hemp blunt. Yeah, a legal hemp blunt here in California. Um, they reached out and they're like, "Yo, do you want to have a little?" You want the first one they read. You want to put your face on a blunt, and that's already like a dream come true. Like, what do you mean? Where is it going to be sold? It's going to be sold in all dispensaries. Like, come on. Like oh, yeah. I already, I want that shit. What did you so, put in it? What strains? Um, our first strain was a uh, my favorite strain is Tropicana cookies. So it oh, like is a, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so almost like a forbidden fruit. Cookies. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So I love that shit. So that was our first one, and then this one is GMO, which has been my favorite GMO for the past like year. But it's been popping off. I saw what else is in this. A little bit of extra. It's also GMO, and it's ice water hash, which is a little you know, that I mean, shit. It's that shit. It's that All shit. All right, and a glass tip. Are these like what? Two and a half grams? Let's say Three real. grams? Two. 1.75. There we go. Two. They just carry their weight. Damn. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. not two grams? Yeah. So all the bud is hand broken up. Uh, it's, oh, not so it's not grinded. Up. Yeah, not grinded up. Yeah, at I all. just People noticed that right do now. That. You can see like the lumps, they're all different. Well, I went there. Yeah. And I saw dude, everybody like a, just doing like it, a dude. fucking machine. Yeah. They're just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's People awesome. just listen to music and shit. It's so awesome. Fucking and with was, the little glue. Yeah, so and I was looking for it. I was looking for someone to do it for a while, and I saw these companies using the machines, like and they yeah. shake all the fucking bullshit, shake, mm-hmm. and it's just like this is different. There's no love in it, you know what I mean? But this is like hand, actually hand rolled type shit. There's a big facility. I love the people behind it. They're cool as fuck. You know. Yeah, we talked about it earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're he cool. Was cool. As fuck. Um, my homie. Oh, remember Charlie from? Well, he used to work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, his. Uh, we have a company we're, we're starting. Right. With another guy named Brett with mm-hmm. his Greater Holdings. They do all the cannabis marketing. Right, stuff. right, right. He brought me there. Yeah. And when I went in there, I'm like, "Yo, you guys are really sitting here with 40 people deep, rolling blunts. Yeah, rolling blunts, yeah, just, blunt after yeah. blunt with the little glue shit they're using." <laughs> It was pretty fucking cool to see, it's Marty. Awesome. It's, it's like when cool. you see movies and fools are chopping coke. Yeah. And it's all scary and fools and got guns. In, bro, and it's a warehouse. Like, literally, it's like a, a fucking warehouse. Yeah, you just like, see people with the fucking yeah. rifles. That's, that's what you, you normally see in movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just people just smoking rolling blunts with yeah. headphones and shit. Oh, it was yeah. fucking cool, actually. Oh, yeah. So, El Blunto, is this sold in all uh, shops, too? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Over 200 licensed dispensaries across California. A Nova. So, you have your Nova own blunts. branded, bl- like I said yeah. earlier. Does, this was a great way to ex- get your shit more exposed. Because Eric Kahn, your name is already there. Right. People right. are already going to go, oh, good shit. Yeah. But once they start this being synonymous to you, yeah, then 100%. it's like, that's when we start monetizing. And I, yeah. And at the same time, I almost want to like have the brand separate from my entity. Like, I like, I like everyone knows like there's dope companies. Yeah. That don't really, you know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my favorite company is probably Kith. And yeah, um, I see there's like, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Kid's my favorite company. And like a lot of people rock Kith. They don't know Ronnie Figg's behind it, but I like, I love Ronnie Who's Figg. That? Ronnie Figg is the like owner and CEO of Kith and he runs it and everything. And he's really like tapped into the culture and the fans and everything in the community. It's super dope. But even if you don't know who Ronnie Figg is, like you still fuck with Kith. You know what I mean? There's yep. hundreds, you know, most people do that. Mm-hmm. So same thing with like Supreme and all these like high brands. Like, so that's exactly what I want. Like a Nova to be like, people want to fuck with the Nova without necessarily knowing exactly. who I am or. That's the only know. way it works because. Right. I've said it many times. It's uh, people may like you and they'll support you just because they like you. People that don't know you or maybe they don't are not a fan or they maybe they don't like you. If they can go, no, I really fucking like this and not know it's you and just know it's a good product, then that's when you kind of win the whole crowd. Right. Because right. it's not your fucking face right here saying, oh, Garrett Cononova Blunt. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? with the clothing that I try to run, it's not like, Super in your face, like Eric Khan has it, or like, or even super in your face, like I smoke weed. Like, uh huh. Super, you know. Because there's I mean? a there's a there's a being loud and there's a being subtle. Right, right, yeah. right. I always I for push trees. My thing is fucking over the top picture crazy. Yeah, shit. it's awesome. Your shit is yeah. lit. When he's diving up, my favorite one is when he's uh, surfing on the dab. Yeah, it's just it's just like <laughs> wait, what the fuck is that? So it is loud, but there's also like shit like the it's dark side. I try too. to it's creative. It's yeah, creative. I just try to make it thing. like. Like pictures, but right. it's not my face. And yeah, shit. yeah. If it's gonna be loud, it has to be creative. I yeah, feel like it's, it's the main thing. Loud. It can't be whack. Our new shit's like this, like just very like branded, nice. just quick, quick shit. Nice, but nice. With exactly. this right, with this right here, uh, oh, what you were saying, trying to separate it. That's why we made push trees, and it's not just say like 
dope Zola shirts. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, because you could do you Eric Con like, right clothing, but it's more like well, I'm not just trying to rock a shirt that says Eric Con on it. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to just say it's dope as Zola. You have to separate it for it to grow. And one day, maybe you don't want to be like doing videos all fucking day. Exactly. Maybe you don't. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. you still have your business side you the built the for yourself. And it's hundred percent because people kill for a following. Right. Companies pay for a following. Mm-hmm. You can't pay for an organic following. For sure. Like we've said it many times. You can't pay for what you built. You can't yeah. pay for what we've built because it's years and years of being there. Yeah, yeah. People you, coming up to you and everything. Like, you can't buy that. You can't. You, know I mean? you can't. Yeah, you can't buy it, man. Yeah. Fuck it. It's impossible. <laughs> I mean, companies try. And that's yeah, why they, they, they do. They, they pay LeBron James. Mm-hmm. They're like, yo, no, you be our guy, right? You're Sprite now. That's why they do that because they need that shit because there's yeah. people that connect with people and your shit is very... I always, when Marty's like, when we first brought you up, he's like, Eric Conn, keep popping up in the fucking comments. Who, who's Eric Conn is a YouTuber, right? I'm like, yeah, man, this is how I explain it. It's mm-hmm. like having your friend in the car and you guys are having a conversation. Right. Because the way you do your videos, it's like, right, you're yeah, right fucking like here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's like close. you're just talking to your fucking homie. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I think you've built such a strong following. And then you, yeah, and then you cool. switch and then you have some vlogs and you mess yeah. it up. But I think you're strong. Thing that people think of is they see the picture, yeah, yeah, of you. You, just like, you know what I mean? Yeah. They see the, they see you. Just yeah. you know what I mean? That that's what people come and like remember in their head. Like, right, oh, your right. vlogs are Before. fucking sick. Damn, that review was tight. But they were like there for like you, right, right, right. And it wasn't 100%. like a cool review at first. It was just mm-hmm. you because you did mm-hmm. it when you were what started when like seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. Right? I started making so you weren't even eighteen. These. Started doing this yeah, shit in an yeah. illegal ass state. Illegal. First video was dropping acid. That was your first video? Yeah. With your was, face showing? Yep. This Using my name. Crazy. <laughs> was this it before was or like, after your stepdad got your ass? It was before. Or it was after. It was after. Oh, you just went all crazy after yeah, that. Huh? Like, like, caught me. <laughs> Mom, I'm doing asses on the internet now. <laughs> oh, shit. And nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs> Did you find out about your YouTube? Yeah, years later, though. Because oh. I, thankfully, it was already oh. popping enough. So it was like, because um, it was actually, damn, this is nuts. So she <laughs> she actually asked, like, around junior year, or around, like, end of senior year, because I was still living with my parents my first year of college, and she was like, so what are you doing for, like, work? Because you're not even, like, you know what I mean? You're not doing a job or anything. And I was like, oh, I'm just, um like, doing the YouTube thing, because I did YouTube in high school, and she was like, oh, just, like, the video games and stuff? And I'm like, yeah, I'm just, like, streaming, playing video games and stuff. And she's like, oh, okay, like, okay, cool. As long as you're making money. Yeah, yeah, as long as you're chilling, you know, whatever. She honestly preferred it because I didn't have to, like, leave the fucking house, you know what I mean? She, she loved it. <clears throat> and then my cousin watches my videos, like, IRL, and he's super chill. He's, like, not letting it go. Um, Did you say an IRL? Yeah, yeah. You're a fucking gamer. Because <laughs> my homie Ratchet Man be like, IRL, bro, I'm like... <laughs> In real life, is that what you're saying to me? Oh, I didn't know. In what real the fuck life, because oh, <laughs> he's he's in the uh, GTA role play all yeah, day. He's yeah, building yeah, a server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. That's so he's like, "Not nah, full IRL." I was with that fool the other day. I'm like, oh "Yo, God. you guys are computers. <laughs> <laughs> These fools are fucking IRL." They switch back. <laughs> so when like, you say, "I'm like, wait, is that what you just said?" <laughs> My homie's exactly been getting me on that. I'm like, "Wow." Yeah, yeah, People yeah. People love that shit. Yeah, yeah. So he's so he's super chill. He's not letting. He's not letting uh, any family know or anything. But one time he left it, his computer open on my videos. <sighs> his mom sees me smoking weed on the internet, tells my entire family. I get a text from my mom. And it was just like, it was like a, it, when it rains, it pours kind of day. Because ah. I just got in a fucking accident, like a car accident. And I'm literally getting my car like inspected and everything, like waiting for the cops to come. And, and, she, and I get the text. <laughs> and I get the text. And I'm like, there's no way. <laughs> there's no fucking way this is happening right now. So I get this long text. And anytime you get a paragraph text, like I didn't even, like I opened it. And it was like, <sighs> and I was like, oh, I'm like, what did I do? What did I do? And it was like, your grandma saw your YouTube channel. And I think the one of the most recent videos I posted it was a Q and A, and it was like what drugs I've done or something like that. And she was like, "What kind of drugs are you doing? Or like, what are you doing online and all this?" And I was like, "It's worse than the OnlyFans. It's damn near. It was worse than damn like, near. I could have been like, I'm just slinging some dick pics, mom. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh thank God. Yeah, for real. She was like, oh never mind. But now I'm like, yeah." I'm just, Smoke weed on that now. I'm like, shit. Your grandma. You're my grandma. She's bro. way my traditional grandma. than if your mom's traditional. Bro. Oh, she probably fucking she started had levitating. Yeah, yeah. And smacked the shit out of you, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> and she was able to for sure, for sure. It was almost like uh 
I wasn't shunned from the family or anything, but family meetings were like awkward, like Thanksgiving and Christmas Day. You were just like, it got bad. Did you guys talk? Yeah, yeah, we talked, but it was just like, they're just like, why are you? are you doing this? Uh, I was twenty at this. Oh, time. yeah. So I was oh, already moved out. So I was okay. already moved out and everything, and making it work. Um, and I was, that's why I was like, that's why they're kind of okay with it because they were still kind of like, why are you doing this? Like you could have just, you know, finished like school, like you going to school and everything. Because I was still going to school at that point, and I was like, don't worry, I'm just gonna finish school. I mean, we're gonna be all right. Like, this is how I'm just making money and everything. Like, it's cool, you know. I enjoy it. Like, you can't hate Education. on that. And they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, okay, whatever. But just don't do fucking heroin or anything else. Like shit, shit like that. Because that's really where they thought it led to. And I was like, no, nah, I promise I won't. Like, whatever, whatever. And then, I mean, that just kind of like, you know, just got softly, softly better from there. That was like a couple years ago at that point. And then it's just we're just chilling now. You know what I mean? They're, were you self conscious as fuck that next video? Knowing they're all going to be watching yeah, this Yeah, for sure. I was like, damn, now my family's watching. Like, this is weird now. This is weird. <laughs> it's weird for me is when I tell stories and it's not the best for the person in the story. Oh, I change their name. Oh, and they come. Yeah. But they know. Yeah. That I'm talking about that. <laughs> and you know that person well. So you know what their face looks like when you said it, when you yeah. brought it up. It's like, so. One of my friends, and it's, like, it's the worst, but the when I, I just, dude, you got caught. I told my grandma what I was doing. Eight years into what I was doing, though. Oh. I kept it a secret for so motherfucking, only on Facebook. Yeah. Because I don't want someone on Thomas or Rahul. Hey, it's that Thomas, yo, I see you smoking much weed. Eh? Because I've had a couple comments in my DMs like, yo, aren't you Elmer's son? We go, oh my God. Oh, shit. oh no! What part of my family? So I try to keep it a secret, my like right. until the last year. Yeah, 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 so yeah. You got the full fucking crash course. Yeah, yeah. I think one of the funny that the craziest thing that happened to me like that was some guy sent a picture of um, he was like I guess a freshman when I was a senior, and he took a picture of me in the yearbook, and he was like, "Bro, like we went to the same high school." And I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like that's cool, bro. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's dope, bro. As long as it's not like you. Looking at your phone from behind yeah, you, then you're yeah. fine. Because <laughs> some motherfuckers are crazy, dude. I've had people do some weird shit, but not like where I'm concerned. Oh, yeah, I was a good Just like send like, me a picture in front of my car. I'm like, bro, don't mm. do that. That's weird. <laughs> you know, I'll hit you if you came up to me and I didn't know what you're talking to. That's super strange. It's like, yo, I gotta be cautious. You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But your car's, your car's. It blends well in oh, LA. Ah, yeah. oh, but not Fuck, I'm, gonna, like I'm gonna wrap that shit. Wait, so what do you want to do? What are you gonna do? Purple. I'm gonna do a purple. Damn! <laughs> what kind of purple? It's gonna be a deep, like like deep, like thinking. galaxy purple, like space purple kind of are thing. Are you gonna like go like a uh, matte? Are you gonna go? It's like, gonna be gloss. It's gonna be gloss. As I say, Enzo Tech yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, like space opal gray. I yeah. mean, gray, uh, purple. Yeah, like a midnight purple kind of. Like the crush shit. You want it to sparkle? Yeah, a yeah. I want it to do exactly. Get the like, satin. Yeah. Purple Ooh. satin gloss. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you're really going to stand out. Yeah, but sure. not in a bad way. But it's going to be nice. That's going to be wait. nice. It's gonna yeah. Be it's going to be, be kind of professional, actually. Oh, yeah. I love your fucking car so much. Thank you. Um, I love that the shit. coupe is just so bomb. Your stick is looking nice, man. That blue Thank is nice. You. Thank that blue you. is nice in real life. I mean, it's nice in pictures, too, but in real life, it's like, damn. It's deep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's deep as fuck. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it. Like, oh, yeah. So slight. Yeah. It's That's dope. what makes it look. So much thought safe. went into that texture. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Studio Motors, we'll hook you up with them. I'll give you his number right after this. Nice. Fuck Just yeah, Dave's the man. Whatever you need, like he'll like curate what the fuck you're trying to what do. You're thinking like he'll he's the for you. He's cool That's as fuck, fuck, bro. And fuck for your car channel, yeah. fucking run it up. Hell yeah! You know what I'm thinking, saying? Yeah, film the sure. whole. I just did it. I just filmed the whole process. I took saw like that. four I saw months. That. Damn. Because I was waiting, waiting for this, waiting for that, and just mm. waiting for stuff to come in. Because with the pandemic, they're like that color. Oh, you're gonna have to sure. wait a little bit. Okay. Fuck. Okay. How long did the actual wrap take? Do you know? Like a few. Oh, the wrap took like two days. No. Okay. Yeah, but two work days. So it was probably like six hours total. Yeah, you know, yeah. like they just stopped and did this piece. Let right, this dry. Right, do that. Right. Do that. And we were filming. So Damn, it kind of took awesome. them longer than normal. That's you know? awesome. That's what yeah. I definitely want to go for. Like, you have to. Film. Yeah, you have yeah. To. 100% you have to. Card channel and everything. Wow, yeah, it's exactly. Gonna sick, bro. It's going to be so sick. I'm so excited. Fuck yeah. Marty. Say real quick, Marty got a car or car for everyone out there last night. Marty what? got a what? 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 Fucking Mercedes game. last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's unplanned sick. Mercedes. Unplanned event. Mercedes. Yeah. Yeah. At least it wasn't unplanned, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking take. Yeah, take the unplanned Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah, lucky. Finally, I got a win in that fucking category. 
Let's go. <laughs> Good shit. So yeah, uh, that's awesome, man. we'll we'll be helping Marty out with his car too. Yeah, oh, you guys. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, I don't know. It's like Grand Theft Auto in real life. It's so <laughs> fun. Really like, oh, what do you want? Crazy. These wheels. I was yeah. thinking about it, and I was like, what's it? What is it gonna look like? And I was like, wait, I can just do it in Forza or like GTA. Yes, so exactly. Like, like, also, it's like, yo, what kind of side missions do I got to do? How much is it? All right, I'm gonna do two side missions. I'll be right back with the money for this rap and rims. <laughs> yeah, damn. It's weird. Did you, did you ever have a job like a restaurant job? Right, right. Did yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd you work? I worked. I worked a few jobs. So my first job was um, I worked at a Chinese restaurant. It was like a little packaging kind of thing. My longest job, I think, my most memorable one was um, Popeyes. With my oh, it was with your friends? It was hilarious. So it was a new Popeyes right next to our high school and we just turned like 16 and shit. So we all applied and we all got it pretty much. So it was literally just two managers and all the boys just like running this Popeyes. How much chicken did you trade for weed? Shit. Not that much. Oh, we stole chicken though. We stole day. chicken though for sure. For sure. Oh yeah, I get that. <laughs> I get that for sure. I, I know that, but I know hella fools that worked at Taco Bell that would trade fucking like here's like forty bucks of fucking oh the big ass uh, boxes. Oh yeah, yeah here's for like sure. forty bucks of Taco Bell. Give me ten seconds. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I would go home at the end of the night. And they would just let us take everything. I would just take it to the plug for sure. Be like, yo, I just got this. Exactly. Fucking, exactly. It, it helps. <laughs> it helps. Like yo, I know you're hungry. <laughs> it's Popeyes. <laughs> it's new. It it's a new yeah. Popeyes. For sure. For sure. Yo, that's a. In high school, and that means you guys were having money. You worked across the street. You smoked a blunt right after school, then started your shift at four. Yeah, literally. Right? Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. That's that. high school fucking. Yeah, that's what I did. I started sure. at four. I got off at three twenty. I smoked some weed. Go straight to fucking work. Just, just go. Oh, all right, let's do this. <laughs> I used to work at Italian restaurants. Suck. Dude. Nice. I worked at an Italian restaurant too. I worked at Marciano's. Was it cool? It was pretty cool. I, was cool. I fucking love Marciano's. Yeah, I what were you? Marciano's. I was a host. See, I'm telling you, when you're tall, you just get to do shit that other motherfuckers don't get to do. You're the host in high school? Yeah, yeah. Get the f- How? I thought hosts where they started you off at, no? No, the yeah, host is like, oh, you, gotta you look, look really nice. Oh, Wear okay, a nice shirt. You talk well. You uh-huh. speak proper. You're the first fucking thing they, they see. We want you to be the yeah. first yeah. thing, yeah. yep. <laughs> they see when they walk in this restaurant, no, yeah. this is going to be an all right place. Yeah. Damn. I was damn near the only male host. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah, usually yeah, only it girls like, that get it in high school. Because if not, you didn't start off as a buzz boy like every other dude in America. That's crazy. That's yeah. so tight. <laughs> it was like you didn't have to experience. Dope. Did you ever have to wash dishes and shit? Uh, at Popeyes, I did. Oh, okay. So you do yeah, know what it's like. Yeah, it's like the worst. So the reason I brought that up is side missions. Now you don't have to go do your Popeyes missions in high school and be like, I'm going to get those rims in about eight months. It's going to be sick as fuck. <laughs> now that you're like, oh, I moved out here. I'm doing more shit. Yeah. Take Give me like three bit, days. Yeah, Give me three, yeah, four days. Yeah. I'm going to do some shit and then I'll, I'll get these rims. It's <laughs> yeah. fucking awesome, it's awesome, right? It's a whole different uh, experience in life when you work for yourself. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah, only sure. you can fucking get your own money. Yeah. <laughs> only you can go make shit happen. Can't have, have some dickhead telling you no or anything. Like, I'll do it. Yeah, you'll do it. That's I'll it. it. Yeah, you'll do yeah. it. And I'm like, I'm going to do it fast. Like Marty right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. It's different. Uh, man, listen, that's my fucking life right now. I know. It's completely yeah. different. You're doing a whole bunch of gigs, huh? Just a whole bunch of shit of this house. It's like, all right, we're going to uh, tackle the fucking bathroom. Now we're tackling uh, the paint. A little remodel oh, action? Oh, yeah. Full blown. Nice. Just bought a house. Oh, that's dope. Congrats, yeah. bro. And a new car. Damn, he's leveling and up. And a new camera. <laughs> oh, fucking Marty. He's going to dunk. Right after this, yeah, he's going to yeah. dunk oh, on yeah, this out there. Yeah. Well, I got God the rim out there. Awesome. I can dunk I know. I, know. Thing I can dunk, nice. too. So yeah. that's not. It's like seven. We should raise it. Yeah, we should raise it a little bit because I can also dunk. I can dunk without jumping on that trip. Yeah, you can. I love it. Yeah, you can. Um, so speaking of work and working for yourself, fans. Oh, hold on. Fan question. What's the uh-huh. second fan question? Second fan question coming in. <laughs> we rant like crazy. <laughs> that, Zane Chambers 18. What's your favorite drug you've done besides weed? Oh. If you want to call weed a drug. Mushrooms for sure. Same. It's the only mushrooms. one that's not going to get you living outside, but also fun. Yeah, yeah. Get you thinking, too, if you need it to. Just have a good time. Do you just shit. dabble lightly, or do you like? Uh, I've been microdosing recently. How do you like it? It's awesome. It's, right? it's, it's what, what's the awesome. amount? Uh, I've been taking anywhere from point fifteen to point three. So like one hundred fifty milligrams to three hundred milligrams. I never did the milligram. I've only done the capsules. What are you doing? Oh, with the gummies? capsules. Oh yeah, the capsules. So they're point. You think uh, point three capsules, right? Point sevens. Oh, they're point sevens. Oh, so mine's are half of that. So I just take one. Though. Oh, okay. How does how does it make you feel? Great. I love it. Yeah. Like it's just like slightly 
more i'd say like energized motivated i think is the big thing i feel like, like motivated is the big thing yeah, yeah yeah it wakes me up a little bit that's how i felt yeah 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 people say um it's equivalent to like your brain is like a um, imagine a snow globe right now it's just been chilling for a little bit it's already laid its path and you just don't shake it up and you just i like that new, new that, was a good, that was a good def- yeah, or yeah. analogy for yeah, that shit that, that was tight yeah then you get like new paths and new things that you can like carve and like you just think in a different way almost mine's always I mean? a reset like, a different way. okay yeah, yeah, yeah but the microdose when i did it, it it uh the only thing with it with me it's like i always feels like a new day once i'm like back mm, to normal it always right. feels like i'm like oh that was this morning i did that <laughs> Yeah, That's the yeah. only th- reason I don't. I mean, the only downfall of microdosing for me is always feels like I started a new day mm-hmm. when I'm back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like when you fall asleep in the fucking day out of nowhere, you wake up like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> That's how I feel when I take mushrooms in the day. Yeah, when I take microdoses, I should say, because when I take mushrooms, I eat a lot. But Ooh. yeah, I, I when I normally your dose, you I like six to seven. Oh, okay, right? nice. Yeah, like six seven grams probably. But I sit in my house. I don't do shit. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a good dose. It's, it's a good fucking dose. Sit there and sweat. <laughs> oh, dude, I had I to take that much to feel it. Really? He's different. It. He's different. He's three. a tall man. Eighth is good for me. I couldn't oh, imagine what it is. going anywhere. The idea of talking or oh, going, yeah. doing well, yeah, anything. When you're tripping, tripping, Shoes I do not like being in public. For the first two times, I gave him a strong dosage and it didn't do shit to the guy yeah, damn i really, really had to work up to the shit but when crazy. it worked it worked yeah. oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yo this is fire by the way thank you thank yeah this you. is yeah. really good yeah thank you it's that not tobacco nice. for everyone's saying no tobacco Going, you're smoking a blunt it's not tobacco it's hemp. Wacky tobacco. i love those fucking things i've had og gave me one of those they like you were saying the nice little perfect little nuggets in there it's cool yeah, yeah. it's cool it burns perfect so yeah the mushrooms uh your homie uh, I mean, your homie. The fan question was from was it Zane Chambers 18. What the fuck? Yes. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. I tried to spell it when I when you said it the oh, first shit. time. So I got like a snapshot. Let's go. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's that alpha brain. Oh, yeah. Alpha brain and blunts. Oh, <laughs> Let's do it. Alpha brain. What's up, guys? Taking a moment to talk about another one of our longtime sponsors. This is On It. Let's get right into it, guys. www.onit.com. That's O N N I D.com and forward slash YOLA is our code. That code is going to get you 10% off of everything on the website except for the weights, plus free shipping on your whole order. If you're one of our fans, this is one of our longtime sponsors. You already know that. On It is human optimization from head to toe, everything you can possibly think of to get in shape and or your brain better, your thinking better, your cognitive focus. When it comes to the brain, alpha brain, you already know that. That's their staple product. Now they have shots. Like I said, it's not just for getting buff. They got gut health, digestive tech, new mood, shroom tech, MCT oil, vitamin D spray. Yes, a spray vitamin. If you follow Marty on Instagram, you saw him going hard with the MCT oil and the creatine shakes with little Emery the other day. So once again, guys, before I get out of here, www.onit.com. That's O-N-N-I-T.com forward slash yola that's our code use it anytime you buy anything from on it online that's going to get you 10 percent off of everything like i said but the weights also free shipping thank you guys so much for supporting the brands that support us Hey, what's up, guys? Just taking a moment to talk about one of our sponsors. This is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online service essentially for therapy. It's not a crisis helpline, so don't think that you can just call in if you're having a really hard time. You should actually call a hotline. BetterHelp is for people that want to take the steps in getting better, whether it's mental health, maybe it's your confidence, maybe it's you know self load whatever it is about you that you don't like and you want to fix. Maybe it's not something you don't like. Maybe it's something you can't deal with on your own and or it's affecting it in other ways of your life. Most of us don't have someone to turn to. Most of us don't have that person you can openly be with. Maybe you have five brothers and sisters and you're not open with them about everything. Just because they're the closest people in your life doesn't mean you're going to be open with them. A therapist from BetterHelp is someone that's licensed that's matched with you. It's not just, hey, you have eight clients today, throw them in there. So if this interests you at all, just go to betterhelp.com, www.betterhelp.com forward slash dope. And that's 10% off your whole first month of subscription. So give it a try and see why 2 million people have tried BetterHelp online therapy. So it's betterhelp.com forward slash dope. And that's 10% off your first First month of service. This ad read has been brought to you by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Back to the episode. So, uh, here we go. So, since we're on the topic of working and working for yourself, when you have shit to do, this is a fan question that I think is a universal fan question. What is a typical work day for you? When it's uh, an actual work day and you have to get shit done. Yeah. What so, is your shit? What uh, is it? Start off. Wake up, like, hopefully by nine. It's probably when I try to wake up, and I'm probably just doing emails for a couple hours, like, just knocking out whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? Trying to figure out videos, plan videos for, like, the week, or, like, upload schedules and everything. Um, 
then phone calls if I need to. I usually schedule those around like lunchtime or any meetings or whatever, lunchtime. And then that's when I'll edit the video for the day if I need to because I can usually get, I don't know, I don't edit, my footage isn't that long, so I usually get an edit out in like two, three hours. Oh, bomb. So, uh, yeah, yeah, so oh. I can just like get, you know, a three hours of done. footage and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm usually done by like hopefully five and then... I'll probably, after, or before editing, I'll get lunch, and then after this, I'll probably answer all the comments, answer all the DMs for, like, an hour or two, and then dinner with the homie or something, or if there's, like, an event, I feel like that's what I've been doing recently, like, there's a lot of, like, cool, like, weed events or openings or, like, release parties or whatever to go to, or just, like... Networking fun shit. Right, right, yeah, shit like that, and then at the end of the day, I'll stream. You stream every day? Stream every night, yeah, yeah, Every night? Every single night. No shit? No (laughs) matter what? I mean, not no matter what, unless I'm, like, out of town. But if I'm here, like, capable, I'll stream, for sure. Bomb. Oh, yeah. What's your top music you got going on there recently? What's up? What's the top music you got playing just in your life or on your streams? Because I know you were saying that you play music on your streams, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I play music on streams. Um, I've been listening to a lot of, like, hip-hop, rap stuff. Uh, let's see, Shorty Shorty is probably my favorite artist. I don't know who that is. I've, I've been coming. It's been coming up on uh, my comments. Nice. And I don't know who that is. Where's he's he from? Uh, he's from I want to say Maryland. Baltimore. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baltimore. Um, shit, he's dope. He's dope for sure. <sighs> Did you listen to hip hop growing up? Or lightly? Uh, yeah, kind of. I listened to a lot of alternative growing up. So I listened to a lot of, like, Green Day. Like, yeah, uh, okay, uh, cool. So you like, fuck with Blink-182? Yeah, Blink-182, some 41, and then, like, right. Linkin Park. Let's see, All-American Rejects. No way! <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers, you know what I mean? All those. Every sure. one of the bands you just named, we have, I have, my, me and my sister have on a, when you used to tape MTV playing mini videos. Yeah. And we tape it. Every single band you, I remember the All American Rejects, yeah. the fucking Tall my, my Skinny Chemical dude. Romance. My Chemical yeah. Romance is forever gonna be yeah. awesome. Yeah, for sure. You fucking <laughs> anybody says I fucking love My Chemical <laughs> Romance. I love all that emo kid shit. It's bomb. Yeah, it's lit. You don't have to be emo good. to like emo it kid shit. That's just hard as fuck. So that's what you bumped as a kid. All yeah, right, for sure, you're the for first sure. person to not say like, you know, early Lil Wayne. And, <laughs> you know, which is not bad thing. Yeah, yeah. It's just I haven't heard anybody say anything besides hip hop growing up. Right, right. And then I went At through all. a little, went through a little EDM phase too. Which is oh, crazy. really? I really like that. I never like, got into it. Like, it's, it's, I wasn't even doing drugs or anything either. I was just you just like the fucking music. Like <laughs> SpongeBob jellyfish. Yeah, yeah. Everyone <laughs> called me weird too. I just been on the you know shit that's just. Everybody before. called you weird like, for yeah, EDM. Yeah, yeah. They're like, bro, what is that? Eric, it's why is Eric like, dancing <laughs> in the hallway? It's it's like, there's not even any lyrics, bro. It's like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, nah, it's bro, robot it's, music. It's, yeah, exactly. I'm like, nah, bro. It'll, it'll catch on. Trust me. It's, it'll catch on. <laughs> this fool's fucking foreshadowing, critiquing. I mean, uh, curating crypto uh-huh. EDM. Hey, what's the next thing you're into, man? What's the next thing that's gonna happen, huh? Weed, bro. Oh shit! All right, we're really yeah, on we're that already one. here, man. All right, we're good. This is the next thing. We're good. So uh, work set. a work day. What's the filming like? Because uh, I see you do vlogs and shit. Mm-hmm. When you're doing the filming for yourself, how long how long will you do total footage time sitting uh, there? Because I know you're sitting there going, "Ah, oh, fuck, let me say that again." Hold on, right? Cool. Yeah, hundred percent. Sometimes you'll be like, "Yeah, oh, so, almost done with the sentence." Like, I coughed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The total video will probably be like 15, 20 minutes, and probably like an hour of footage. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you meant the total. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. So yeah, so I cut down like yeah, like a fourth of it. Oh, usually. Always, right? Yeah, 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 100%. All right. What programs do you use? Uh, Final Cut on. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to tell nice. fools. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Bullshit. I don't like yeah, Premiere, man. It always Premier fucks bullshit. with my, always fucks with my computer. Premiere never works. Yeah, like, all the renders always fuck up like yeah, at the time. Thank you. That's, well, all that's I ever why did. I always had a hard time because I use Premiere Rush. Mm. Premiere Lite. I use Premiere, Premiere Lite, Lite <laughs> on my computer because I'm too... I, Premiere Pro, just, I can't do it. Yeah. Too much. And But I recently hired an editor and Marty edits the final... So I haven't. I don't give a fuck anymore. What Goes the fuck I use? Lists. I don't give a shit. It used to be me, and then I pass it to Marty after I'm done with yeah. the skeleton. Nice. And now we have some. We have someone named Cole doing it for for me and sending it to Marty to like do the touch ups. Okay. So they both use Final Cut also. Okay, got you. That's why I wanted to ask because everybody that does their own shit always uses fucking Final Cut because it's so goddamn easy. And I'm the use. only yeah, motherfucker out here using Premiere. Apple's yeah. just got a nice user interface. I'm fucking for all asshole, that shit, I guess. For sure. Wait, they're taking over. Final Cuts for Apple. Yeah, it's made my Apple. You fucking kidding me? I, all I use is Apple shit. Yeah. You got to get on it. People yeah. need to explain things better to me, I think. I think about, yo, this is what it's for. It's made for this computer. I would yeah. never use fucking Premiere. Mm, Premiere's yeah. Adobe. 
That's where it I just went. know Adobe. I don't know. I was, you know, I was a stop. I was about to reference yeah, like six go movies in a row. No, I was about to just reference movies just off the word Adobe and fucking Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. We'll just stop. Apple's cool because they'll like oh. they'll utilize the most out of your hardware for sure. Like a program like Final Cut will run on most computers Perfect. on most like Macs. You know, you know right. how it is. They'll just you're from Texas. Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure. You ever seen it? No. Oh, Sorry. never mind. Sorry. Never mind. Oh, because oh, never mind. For everyone out there that knew what I was about to ask. Yeah, you have to watch it. You ever fuck with Pee Wee Herman as a kid? No. Oh, he was so cool. I feel like it sounds so familiar, though. Pee Wee Herman, Paul, you ever seen Blow? With, with Johnny, Johnny Depp? Depp? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know his homie Derek for real? The yeah, connect? yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. That's Pee Wee Herman. Oh, yeah. So okay, he used okay, to be Pee Wee okay. Herman with a tie. The yeah, kid show. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. But he's yeah. a monster. He's all Cheat and Chong movies. He's yes, like, yes. He's a kid show, but he's also doing fucking rails awesome. with everybody. He's like, a, awesome. if Blues Clues, well, Steve was down as fuck, <laughs> that's Pee Wee Herman, all right? That's awesome. He's a good actor, too. Yeah. Um, so that was totally off topic. My bad. Movies just keep going in my What's head. What's your favorite movie? Ooh, uh, thank you. Diego Serrano, 209. Oh, 209? You picked a 209? Oh, what, 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 what? Is that? Third question. That's where I'm from. Yeah. Is that where I said? Is that where I said? Where I said? Yeah. Uh, I'm from, uh, or let's see, Saving Private Ryan. What's your oh, favorite movie? Good fucking yeah. answer. Yeah. That's so sad. It's a great movie, though. I almost cried when I was like fucking seven. I watched it, and the kid screaming for his mom at the oh, beginning. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I went, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right. I can't watch this. <laughs> That's, that's your favorite that's movie? That's a cinematic yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful movie for sure. Oh, it's such that a says sad a lot. One. A man's yeah. favorite movie says a lot. <laughs> that's, that's funny because mine was one. another fucking Tom Hanks classic. Oh, nice. It's Forrest Which Gump. One? Forrest Gump. Yeah. I was going to say. That's or it's Truman Show. Oh, nice. My two favorites. That's a good one. That's a good one. Damn, Saving Private Ryan is so sad. Yeah. So many good actors died. <laughs> they stabbed that little that man through the throat. I'd say it was so sad. The other one's probably The Dark Knight. Honestly, oh, it's probably shit. my favorite Nolan movie, even though he's got like a lot of bangers. But I like Dark Knight. Oh, you're talking about the director directed yeah, that? Yeah. Damn, you know the director? Yeah, I don't know. Nolan's lit. Nolan's what else dope. did he do? He's got a like Inception. And oh, he does all the crazy yeah, shit. Yeah, he does like Tenet and fucking. That 19, fucked whatever, me fuck. up. I'm still. Tenet, I watched yeah, that like eight months ago yeah, and I'm still I trying to figure it out. Of, yeah, I don't understand. I had to watch either. a 30 minute clip on YouTube of someone explaining it. Yeah. I still don't know. <laughs> Because it doesn't make sense. A human brain is not supposed to compute that. Yeah, for sure. It doesn't make sense. Inception was kind of dope though. He did that. Inception was, was great. I loved Inception. But Tenet was like, yo, I just didn't you gave birth to your it. dad. Like, oh, what the fuck did you just say? They're doing it all The backwards. fuck? I'm my own dad's dad? That's what the fuck Tenet mm, is. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense. That's Tenet. <laughs> Good movie. Didn't get it. Crazy movie. Yeah. So um, here we go. You've been going hard as fuck with the glass lately. I've been seeing you oh, yeah. chilling with fools that are just going Very hard, going yeah, hard. These guys, like what I was trying these to. Guys are yes, ridiculous, I explained bro. it to Mari. Like you know, you know the culture. You know, there's car culture. Yeah. Shrink that car into a glass, same price. There's glass culture and it's absolutely insane. So you've been going hard. I've been seeing this shit. I've been to the events, it. trying to just get plugged in. It's cool, bro. Just meeting all the people, like. It's crazy. Yeah, like your little case you brought the, with your fucking yeah, slides. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. Just seeing all the like walks of life, honestly. It's like almost like oh, yeah. just seeing everyone. From know, the whoops thing. that probably right. know the dudes that made it all yeah. the way up to the guys that sell bricks that also just like dabs. Right, right. Yeah, they're those all are there, those are fun dabbing. people, though. Yeah, they're all lit. They're, they're all cool. All you so always can lit. tell because they have one or two gold teeth. Yeah. And the fucking Cuban is just like too big. Sip and lean. Yeah. yeah like sip and lean. Like, <laughs> oh, you sell bricks. <laughs> you just like dabs, too. Oh, carts, you sell carts too. Oh, yeah, buy the hundred thousand. You don't say <laughs> that's pretty much the dab culture in LA, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, you've been seeing it all, yeah. It's crazy shit what you've happened. seen so far for all the fucking fans out there that really are into this shit. Because I, you go hard with the turf slurpers, oh, I will yeah. say that that shit fucks me up. It makes yeah, me not want to keep it's dabbing. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's like it's, one and I'm done yeah, kind of thing. That's that's. That's what it used to be for me, but now I'm just building the tunnel. Oh, so it's so heavy. It's so it's smoking. It's so it's it gets you so, so high. Fucked it's fucked up. Do you mainly dab? Uh, I'd say I dab most of the time. Do you really? It's like 60 40. It's like pretty close, but I like dabbing a little you bit. Got a dab right? right now. Yeah, I like the dab right. You have one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave yeah, you one. We just dropped the push trees dab that, right. Bro. I got That's you awesome. one. As soon as you leave, as Let's soon go. As you, leave, you just tell me which one. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Dab right's yeah. it's essential. Dab it's right's fucking cool, man. Essential. The owners are super dope too. Shout out to yeah. the owners of Dab Right. Man. Yeah, they're super cool people. Cool. They're cool as fuck, actually. Mm -hmm. So, what is the craziest thing glass wise you've seen? Oh. Because I know there's 
you know what I mean by crazy is like, what's the one piece you did not want to drop? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dude? Yeah. The one piece you went, uh. It's probably um, my homie Mikey has an insane collection of glass, and he's got some pieces like that where I'm like, not scared to hit him because you can't be scared. That's when you psych yourself out, you know what I mean? I'm psyching myself out. <laughs> I don't care. I'll do this. Yeah. You dab it. You use it. I'll just yeah. put my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But after being around him so long, you can just, you know, you handle him and everything. But his, his his pieces are absolutely insane. He used to, um, or I guess he still does, but he used to collect, like, fine art, like, on the walls and shit. And he was like, fuck this. Like, I can't smoke out of him. So oh. he started to collect, like, glass art instead. And, like, the same amount. So, like, 50, 70, $100,000 rigs just by the regular, like, insane one-of-ones. Mm-hmm. He'll fly to the artist's house just to get it made, yep. see it, and then, like, bring it back. That's like, that real dope connoisseur it, shit. It's that dope shit for sure, bro. Shout out to my guy Mikey. He's he's super dope. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's, like, all his pieces are insane. And, like, that's, like, the culture, you know what I mean? Just it's respecting glass, and especially these, like, big artists that really put their, like, soul into it, you know? And, like, you get, like, an old piece, and it's like, oh, this guy made it in 2012, and you're like, it's like 10 years old like look how old it is but it's still like being used to this day yeah. and shit it's awesome dude it's those awesome. one of ones are irreplaceable also they're all one of ones damn near you know are damn they really sure. i mean to a certain degree you know even if if it's on a lathe by an artist like even if he tries to make the same exact thing over and over it's gonna be like this slightly are, oh yeah the collabs right? that are like yeah the collabs are one of one for sure but yeah all the artist shit is, is super dope so what, they're all what's your you know? favorite piece in your collection man the one you would not get rid of. Oh, I don't know if I won't get rid of it. Because I'm, oh. I'm trying to upgrade it. Because it's by this artist. Um, okay. Mike Luna is probably my favorite artist right now. And I have uh, an orb by him, they call it. It's like the dragon claw. Oh, I'm with sure the, the one it. I yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. rips for yeah. being such a little fucking piece. Yeah, I love that thing. But yeah, the I'm one when you first came. Yo, oh, yeah, one. the little one. So yeah. I'm trying to sell that. And he makes full of dragons. So I'm going to sell that one. To my homie. Is it the dragons that do this? They're standing there and they have their hand on the ball? Yeah, yeah. I've seen yeah. this artist before. Oh, yeah. My friend's He's got a couple homie. of those. He's the homie uh, My for homie, sure. Johan from fucking... I'm sure you've seen him on Instagram. He posts like the 10-pound slabs of butter oh, and crazy yeah. shit. He posts all those dragons. He has a collection of those dragons, man. Yo, fleet. <laughs> real quick. So awesome. He bought two dragons from the artist. We're in Seattle at Cannabis Cup. Real quick story. Nice. He's standing there buying another one. With his cases between his feet. Looks down. Someone snatched him right from fucking oh. under him as he's paying for his another one. No one said shit. They might have saw him pick him up. No, no. Fucking fool ran off with him, right? Fucking guy runs off with him and he looks at me and I see him 10 minutes later and he's just white. About to puke. Just heartbroken. I can Dude. see he's like, someone stole my fucking, someone stole my fucking pieces I bought today. And they're, you know, they're like fucking 12 bands a piece yeah, and shit. Easily. He just lost like 30K right there. And he's all hurt. So we're trying to make him feel better. He comes back to my booth. I'm like, I'll oh, just take some dabs, bro. He's just like, you could see it on his face. He doesn't want to be at the cannabis cup anymore. It's, fucked. it's over. Yeah. So he posts, I posted on my DM. I mean, I posted on my story. He posted it on his page. We post it. Everybody we know. And all the people in my booth at the time are like all fools that make videos. So combined, we got a lot of eyeballs. We're like, yo, post that shit right now. Yeah. Before it fucking leaves this place. Mm-hmm. Nobody said shit. Like two hours later, someone DMs him. And says, hey, man, I just bought these two cases from these guys in the parking lot. And I opened them up and I saw on Dobazola's page that the same fucking rigs that I just bought. And he's like, I'll be right here if you want to come get them. The guy sold it to him for 50 bucks a fucking case because they couldn't open it because my homie has his locks on it. And they just thought they were just pelicans. Fuck it. Here. Boom. He always like 150 bucks a case. They sold for 300 bucks. And the guy's like. Bro, I just bought the case. I thought they were just cases. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll buy it. How much for these fucking cases? And when he what? got them, he's like, oh, what the fuck? These are sick. I looked at his Instagram and saw everybody on earth posting the fucking yeah, rigs. Yeah. So he's like, I'm not trying to be a piece of shit. So he went and met my homie. My homie, like, here's fucking a rack. Yeah. Thank you so much. And he gave him, like, it's like two zips of concentrates or some <sighs> shit. And he's like, thank you so dumb. much. Because my homie makes so much. Right, he's like, right. Bam, here, everything in my bag. Take it all. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And he fucking got it back like two hours later. The that's only time on earth amazing. someone got their glass back. Yeah, that's but amazing. The power of social media. It's there. Fucking got his shit back. Oh, Guy yeah. didn't even know what he was sitting on. Yeah. And he's like, it was some insane. dude in a fucking hoodie. Just a and he just ran into a Jeep. I'm like, oh, bro, oh, fools are just smashing, guy, grabbing man. people. That's it's fucked crazy. up. They buy a ticket That's to try crazy. to come up at the Cannabis Cup. Right. Like, just to steal. Damn. You said it was in Seattle? It was in Seattle. It was fucked up. It was sad, but he got it back, man. But I remember seeing my friend go uh, ghost white. It's not the fun. It's not fun. 
Yeah. Getting that, robbed. <clears throat> that lasted a long time. That was great. It wasn't it was harsh hard. at all. And I good fucking, smoke all the way through. I just don't do the blunts, and that was fine. Do you have a, any more? You have a still going? Yeah, yeah. So okay, cool. For like sure, for sure. Oh, so yeah. next thing real quick I just want to talk to you about, since we talked about it, and it's very, very relevant. You're getting fucking played on uh, social media. Oh, yeah. It's starting to get oh, off. It's starting to get bad. Yeah. So you still oh, don't have your Instagram? Course. Nah, not the main Instagram. Still What's your down. Instagram now? EricCon.ig. So oh, E-R-I-C-K. K-H-A-N.ig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Same we can thing. pop that shit up. Yes, yes. So Crazy stuff. is that your, for how many times you've been deleted? Was How many accounts have you had? Is this your second, third? This is, this is my second account. My main account, it's been deleted countless times, but I always got it back. Mm-hmm. Like within, I think the longest it ever took was like three, four weeks. <sighs> so once it passed that amount, like a couple like, weeks oh, ago, I was like, oh, oh like, this is serious. <laughs> do you do the picture? Yeah, I didn't, done that a couple of times. They're not even sending me that email anymore. It's crazy. That means that one's done. That's what happened to me. Once they stopped sending me the email for it, it, yeah. it died. Wow. I have another link you could try. I have yeah, a link, yeah. but it doesn't work for me. Yeah, it's yeah. worth for everyone else I've ever given it to, though. Wow. I'll give it to you. Rosie has. I'll give it to you. Um, so, you got fucking played on Instagram. Classic. Right? Yeah. So, your new one, up and going, you're doing your thing. Doing good. Yeah. YouTube. This is a whole nother thing. Ooh. So, when we talk about it, we talk about try not to get demonetized and age restricted right off the bat. This is what we're talking about. You, sir... I have a lot of fucking subscribers, and your views are looking like my views right now. Yeah. Bad. They do not, like, two years ago, if we got those views, you go, what the fuck happened? Did people not see it? Yeah, 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 for sure. But now it's almost now it's like, accustomed. I understand, like, yeah, I understand why it's happening. It hey. takes, like, I used to get 100K in a day. Yeah, like, that was every like, 24 yeah, hours. 124 hours. That was, like, this benchmark, and now it's, like, four days. Oh, it's if like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. If that right now, yeah. But it'll get, it'll gain, but it'll eventually get there. But it's like, wow, it's heartbreaking, fucking, bro. Yeah, it's, it's not the views. Up. It's more of like, what am I? I'm, doing? I did not, so much time into this. Yeah, 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 yeah. None That's of my audience even got to watch it. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I know they would have enjoyed it, but they didn't even see it. People would love it. Yeah, <laughs> if they got to see it. Yeah, here are people. I haven't seen you post in weeks, but like, bro, I post every fucking week. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They just haven't seen you pop up. Yeah. When I typed you in YouTube, you, you have to type the whole thing in, click it, and then find it. Yeah, it's You're crazy. no longer it's popping crazy. up anymore. Same like, with me. Like, Eric, you're falling off. I'm like, fuck you, it's YouTube. Hey, man, like, you just playing me. If anything, <laughs> I did really good, and YouTube's like, no, 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 slow this down. <laughs> this is too fast. Right? That's really what I think it yeah. is. They're like, I Yo. just, I guess I've just combated it by uploading more videos. Same. So I've gotten, like, more views per month, technically. Like, my, my numbers are up, technically. Like, it's a better month for me than, than the past few, for sure. Like, best month in, like, the past six or seven, for sure. But it's just because I'm uploading a lot more. The videos aren't necessarily getting more views. It's just yeah. like the same people that watch them are just staying loyal and I respect it and I appreciate you. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but it's like you a little bad. Like I said, last week, I usually upload one once a week. Mm-hmm. I did three videos last week. Nice. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. the door's open. It's the first train we've heard in so long. It's kind of nice. We left the door open for the puppy. <laughs> Sorry for everyone that heard the train. The train. That's the first time we've heard the K package yeah, in a long hilarious. time. That door is doing something. Yeah, it is, yeah. huh? Yeah. Um, so you're getting played hard. Do you, are you monetized on YouTube? No, you're not monetized. Second channel is. Second I, get mon- I try every month because you have to like disable it for a month. And I'll get it like once every three or something like that. Oh, And I'll shit. get monetized for like a week. I'll be like, yeah, and then I'll get this monetized. But I can't monetize any videos. The only thing I can do is get super chats for streams, which is pretty cool. Oh, so they got you, like, brushed off to the side. Right, 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 right. You're monetized. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. But I I can't monetize any videos. But then that gets taken away, like, eventually, so. They tell me to... That my content's too explicit, and if I want, I have to basically start my channel over. Mm, that's like what they erase told me. everything. That's and what they start told me the for the fucking again. plaque. That's what they told me for the plaque. If I wanted the plaque, really? and I was like, I ain't doing that shit. For yeah, me. I was like, I was getting another channel. No fucking fuck faces. You. Yeah, <laughs> not happening. Crazy asses. So yeah. If you like car content, so wh- wh- what is it? More Eric Khan? Yeah, more on Eric YouTube. Khan on YouTube. Yes, sir. So you're dropping multiple, multiple car videos. Yeah, a week multiple now. videos. I'm trying to just build the shit out of this car. I'm gonna lower it, tune it. Oh, it's gonna fucking, be. Um, it's gonna be even louder than it is now. It's gonna plan on keeping that. Yeah, for a little bit. For a you little know what bit. I really like? I like the stars in the roof. Oh. There's a company out here that Boo Johnson it's, got it done. Yeah, there's a place that, yeah, there's a lot of places. It's pretty and they're lit. sick. They're lit. They're lit. If you're going to keep the car, <laughs> you could put the Rolls Royce stars in your uh-huh. roof. That's insane. It looks bomb. Uh, I know That's it's just a awesome. little thing, mm-hmm. but, but it's, it's like as a kid when you stick the fucking glow stars, the, the green yeah. ones, you turn your lights off like, I'm outside. Yeah, Come on, man. That's what it's like in your car. 
yeah, it's yeah. fucking cool. It's, it's just amazing. a little thing as a kid. It's now you can do as an adult. Yeah, you got a dream car. Yes, uh, my dream car. Um, mm, there's multiple. Oh, what's your dream garage? Oh, ah, I like that <laughs> question. Good shit. Um, I like the, like I said, the first car I almost got was like a 59 Cadillac. I almost bought it this nice. old man. Oh, okay. So a 59 Cadillac. I like the 62 Lincoln with the suicide doors. Ooh. I like those old those boats. Yeah. One, two. And if I could, I'd have like a 68 Super Sport Nova probably. Mm. Bomb. And then my car, I have the Monte, the Monte Carlo, the, yeah. the 86. But newer cars, there's this orange guts with the Ford Giotto F orange yeah. and the brake pad orange, but it's a Rolls Royce Dawn. Oh, I was gonna say it's the Royce. Oh, it's this orange inside. Oh shit! That, that, I was gonna say the orange interior is probably it's Rolls so Royce. That shit's fire. It or the Cullen. So Have you seen the SUV Rolls Royce? My homie's got the it. Doors it's with so that. nice. It's nice. It's like a bench in the back and shit. He doesn't drive. He makes someone drive him. He's like, well, I don't want to drive. If it's fucking all this cool shit. I'm like, all right. I understand. That's awesome. But in the middle, you know, your center console in the back seat yeah. is an ice cooler. Do you know that? In the in the, yeah. It's just his hash. Because it, it keeps hash perfect. It's a wine cooler, bro. So he's like, I don't put drinks in here. It's just fucking from my hash. Dude. And it's like all perfectly that's the like. Thing it's ever so ever cool. Heard. It's so that's fun. It's the sickest thing ever. It's so fun. That's awesome. Um, there's this Hermes uh, G, uh, G Wagon, but I'm not into the G Wagons as much anymore. Yeah, they're I was a in the overrated. They're too nowadays. much. I was in the Urus the other day. Loved mm, it. Yes, the exhaust, mm. straight pipes. Loved Ooh. it. So I kind of. That's when I say when you pulled up, I'm like, oh. I think I need to need get a my loud exhaust. Car. I need, not even like loud. Just if I want to go down yeah. the fucking freeway and I can hear it still, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. For I sure. never really it's liked more, it before. Yeah, it adds more like to the car. For yeah, sure. it's like, it adds to the experience. Whoa, whoa, yeah, shit. yeah. It's it like, like you're more in a rocket ship. ship. Yeah, yeah. People it, think it's for like to yeah. be annoying and shit, but it's really just to like add to the experience. Like, and it, there are like some real. annoying exhausts. Oh but yeah, that don't sound normal. One. Yeah, yeah. Yours is not like. It's, it's deep and shit, you know. It sounds cool. It but sounds like, bomb. It sounds yeah. like it's fucking growling. Yeah. It doesn't sound like the machine gun shit. Oh yeah, like my homie's got the Aventador, the Lambo one, and it sounds like machine guns. It's not fun. <laughs> it's just too. You don't want to do too that. Crazy. Yeah, you yeah, pull yeah. up at a stoplight and people are like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> it's like, "Yo, that's attention grabbing." <laughs> yeah, that attention. I don't need because I'm smoking joints. Yeah, don't need that saying. attention, bro. Oh yeah, but I get the exhaust like yours. I love that shit. Nice. I love OG it. I love it. did his. Ooh. And I'm like, yo, stepping on it. Like, mine's quiet. Yeah. I don't like this shit no more. Because I don't know how to do the crackle shit. Mm. Mine does it, but I've only done it once in the free. I went, oh, that was my shit. I don't know how it works, yeah, man. Yeah. I just drive my fucking car. I don't know. I'm not a car that's guy. Awesome. But awesome. it's fun. It, it is, is fun. fun. So that's the, the dr I guess that'd be the dream. I just don't like a lot of newer cars. They're yeah. not fun to me. Mm hmm I, they don't have that same but like character. The, the Mansonry package. Oh, all of them are sick. The man, I like the bra. My dream was the Brabus GT 63S, but it's also like 700 bands. And it's no, oh, no, thank you. Yeah, that's crazy. No fucking 700. Thank you. God damn. That's insane. No, oh, you can get a few nice cars for, yeah. that, for sure. But it's 900 horsepower. Oof. It is the beastly. It's the most beastly car you could get. Damn. Also, I don't go fast, so it'd just be more like, hey, I like that B, yeah, that Robin's B. That's, a sick that's all it would be for. Yeah, like, for I don't sure, for sure. Do nothing with it. Yeah, I'm it's trying to get a. Uh, I'm trying to get Trackhawk by the end of the year. You know what that is? Oh, really? Yeah, Jeep. No Jeep. shit. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. fast as fuck. Yeah, Have you they're seen fast them? as fuck. Jeep's got a fucking a muscle Trackhawk, car, out, bro. Yeah, what the it fuck? is fast as shit. It's a 700 horsepower Jeep. It is fast as fuck, and it looks good. It's got the Hellcat engine in it. So random. It's random as fuck. Oh, they're, they're putting like, it out under Jeep. It. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but it's dope as shit. It's right. awesome. Yo, what's your dream? So, what's your dream, Raj? Oh shit. Probably. Uh, the only I would have one classic in there, and it's probably like. Oh man, a certain like fastback Mustang. Probably. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From like probably the 70s or something. 72, I think. Is the year I like. Talking about the. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Those are cool. Yeah, those like, are clean. They look like Mach 1s are called. Right, like. right, right, right. Yeah. They look super slick. They almost look like futuristic sick. or some oh, yeah. shit, bro. It's crazy. For sure. Yeah, they're Especially super Especially for awesome. being so old. Yeah, so that's the, the classic in there. The sports car, I'd probably have a Porsche. 
on a Porsche. Which right? one? The GT3. I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> or the GT4, it. but one of them. One of them for sure. The GT4 is sick because it's the mid-engine one. It's the only one they make. Um, it's a little more affordable, too, so that's like the affordable one for sure. Affordable, affordable you mean not 290 it's 280 <laughs> yeah. Those cars no, are fucking expensive. Yeah, yeah. No, that one goes for one like twenty. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, that's starting out, you probably pay a little bit of tax, but like one thirty probably for the GT four. Oh, I must not know which one this is. Yeah, the GT three is the one that's like two hundred damn near. Oh, maybe that's what I'm trip. Maybe that's yeah, what it is. Yeah, that one's super sick. The rear engine classic nine eleven. The nine eleven turbo S, my friend got. Oh, that's the extended like, yeah, one. That's my like friend's big. Sixty. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah. up there. Almost three hundred. Yeah, sure. he's a big dude. My homie just got. He's a big dude. So he's like the turbo S. I fit in. Damn, like you that's monster. baller. It's as so fuck. cool. It's a baller as fuck. That's it's a just, sick car. It's a super fast, fast. Car. super fast. It's one of the fastest like production cars. I don't know if sure. I can do that. It's insane. Just it's in the Cali know. roads, but there's certain roads out there. I just no going car that's going that fast. It's just fucking scary, man. Man, I threw my shit and fucking sport on the way Did up you? here a little bit. I was like, God damn, this thing's getting away from me. Did you? Okay. Okay. Quick. Don't go to Sport Plus yet. <laughs> yeah. that's Make awesome. sure you're chilling first. Yeah, Marty got the car last night, and we discovered together. He goes, "What is this button?" I go. Click it. Sports <laughs> more. Sports plus. I'm like, yo, you got the sick one. You got the dope one. Let's go. Yeah, so we were figuring it all out last night. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so all this car stuff, the reason I'm like, oh, my friend did that one, because that's the only time I would ever know what the car was. Because I don't know about cars. So yeah, he's yeah. like, it's a 911 turbo something. I'm like, oh, all right. So now I know what a Porsche something 911 looks like. Now I know what a Rolls Royce. Now, because, yeah. bro, I'm not good with the shit. Yeah. I Google stuff and go, uh Fast cars. Like, uh, what do I Google? Yeah. I don't know. You're not studying the different classes yeah. and models. No, and I don't know that stuff. But there are. If you ever go on Mansory.com, mm -hmm. oh my god, their shit's insane, bro. The Bugatti they, they, one is crazy. You know which one I'm talking about? One. The Bugatti one. I'm not sure which Mansory for uh, Bugatti one. It's Dang. all fucking carbon fiber. It's like a green. <laughs> it is so sick. If that's the one I'm remembering right. That's yeah, amazing. but I, I, cars like that don't interest me. Yeah, those spending are millions too, of that's dollars, just a little bit too much. Even if you're a billionaire, I'd be like, bro, how much are we spending on tires? Yeah, this is like, stupid. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Tell I can help a family that. out with the tires. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I gotta do that to myself. That's I just feel like a bit. piece of shit. That's too much for sure. Certain cars. So, real quick, right here, question: You say you do fuck with mushrooms. Yes. You ever had the bad experience? No, honestly, not on some wood. Yeah, yeah, Good. yeah, yeah. But I, Good. yeah, usually I just, yeah, even especially microdosing, it's been amazing experiences. Um, but the huge doses, the big doses, they've been they've been chill. You know, That's sometimes it starts took. to get away, like five, I think. The experience oh, for sure. Mushrooms for or sure. capsules? Other uh, mushrooms. That's right, like five. Uh, capsules work great Tinctures mm -hmm. work great Gummies are great Nothing is the same As actual raw mushrooms Yeah I don't know yeah. what it is Do you How do you eat them Do you just eat them Like mushrooms You ready for the tech Yes I need I used I to eat them, them And they were disgusting I put them on pizza I rolled them up In yeah. tortillas I did whatever I could roll ups Or whatever It's always fucking ass Okay so ready yeah. The tech What I learned from somebody Like yo You just said fruit roll up Like you got What you gotta do Is lay out a fruit roll up Two of them Put a thin layer Of fucking mushrooms and just roll it slightly and then start adding a little more and a little more and a little oh. more. So when you bite each bite, it like coats it. So I was just eating them and not even tasting mushrooms. Because if you, put, if you yeah. kind of place it like sushi yeah. almost, like a yeah. wrap, yeah, 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 yeah. you're rolling it. So you can take a bite and when you bite it, it like forms around. So you're oh, chewing, yeah. chewing, chewing, chewing. Oh, you yeah. swallow it. Nice. Somebody told me that shit on a DM when Instagram first got DMs. I was like... I'm gonna I'm gonna try this like and whoever you are, thank you so much. You changed the whole thing. Try the fruit roll up, but like you can't just stuff it. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Because then, yeah, roll. that's exactly what I was oh, doing. It was it's just like a big it's disgusting. inner thing of just yeah, it's a whole fucking full burrito of mushrooms. Right, oh. right, exactly. With a little bit of sweet. Exactly. No, Secret. you gotta like layer, layer, layer. And when I did, I'm like, oh, oh my dumb question. Fuck. You can't cook cook them in like a regular burrito, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. People Would it make fuck teas it up? with it, but I don't know how they make teas. They do. They do make teas, but they don't. It's not singed. Like when you cook it, does it cook the properties away? I know acid you can't burn, but I don't know really? about mushrooms. You fuck with acid too, right? Yeah, acid's pretty cool. But I like mushrooms way better. I haven't done acid in a while. I haven't done acid before. Oh. I've never done it. The reason is because my Aunt Pepper had a, her best friend in high school. They used to do acid a lot. Mm -hmm. And her friend one day just was a schizophrenic. 
Oh, that's what happened to my friend. Oh, she went, she's still full blown schizophrenic. Yeah, dude. Bad. Um, but she was predisposed to having schizophrenia because her mom was right, schizophrenic. I think, yeah, I think that's But just true. one bad dose got her, dude. Because I remember Jessica was fat. She was cool, my aunt's friend. And then one day I'm like, yo, what's wrong with your friend? She's over here yelling and like yeah. looking at us weird. Like, I don't dude, like her. Anymore. Yeah, dude. That's exactly I what felt happened bad. to my homie. That's crazy. Really? How bad? Yeah. Is he still it's, bad? It's pretty, uh, honestly, Damn, it's pretty fucking. He passed away like a couple weeks ago. Oh like, shit! Ago. Yeah, super fucked up. I got I got a text from my best homie. He was like, "Yo, bro, like, he de- oh, he I'm passed sorry, away, he passed away." Yeah, it's oh. cool, bro. But like, yeah, he was. That's honestly the craziest probably story that I've ever had. Was tripping fucking acid with this guy. He was a uh, he's a crazy guy, man. A real lovable guy. I've actually had him in a couple videos before too, which is fucking crazy. But um, shit, we were tripping acid before a fucking football game, and this was already when we both stopped playing football. It was like senior year of high school, so we were so just you like, "You do this full well, you play yeah, football with them." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were just fucking, you know what I mean, just getting high with all the homies and shit, and we're walking to the fucking uh, football stadium, and like all the lights are going on. You know what I mean? You can hear the crowd and everything, and like you're going to the ticket booth, and then it's me, my homie in front of me, and then uh, the homie behind me, and then um. <laughs> is it <laughs> me and me and like homie a who's uh okay so homie nick is the one who passed away all right nick and um this is my is my other homie so we're chilling and then nick's behind us and then we kind of like look behind and then he's just like he's just like tripping we can tell he's tripping we're like bro are you okay he's like you guys see those aliens we're like we're like no bro like it's just it's just the stadium he's like dude they're right there and he starts like tripping he's like hiding behind shit and we're like nah bro like we're just like nah we're just going to like you know it's just like the football game we're trying to like we kind of realize that he's tripping we're like no 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 like little football game you know what we're doing bro you know we're just gonna watch some football and then he's <laughs> just like no bro i can't do this and he turns around and just like sprints the other way oh and no. we have to be like no chase him. like yeah, yeah yeah we have to chase him but he's like he's honestly like a pretty fast and fit motherfucker so like, he's, going, <laughs> he's going like through the cars and shit and we just like we just lose him like literally through the shit chase. probably <laughs> he was the running back bull we want to fucking catch him <laughs> yeah exactly and then we were just like damn we're really tripping so we were just like oh because you guys run ass too yeah 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 but he oh. lived kind of close but he lived kind of close we were like he probably just ran home we we're like, let's just go to the game. We're like, okay. Then we go to the game, and I was just tripping fucking nutsack in the stands and shit. It was hilarious. Did he <laughs> end up at home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he okay, ended so up, he he ended up all right and shit. But it, um, yeah, that was fucking crazy. Last I saw him that night, saw him the next day, and he was like, yeah, bro, sorry. I just saw some shit and had to leave. And I was like, I so kind of respect that. that like, when, that's when dope. You that's what I yeah, yeah. After that night? Not after that night, but eventually, like, it just. Kept, oh, because he kept taking like, us. Yeah, he kept taking us. Like, oh, man. Us, but that's what scares me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because I can take mushrooms a lot and nothing happens. But like, Be fine with mushrooms. Yeah, exactly. What's you take acid a lot. Who knows? Do you actually yeah, see yeah. shit on mushrooms, though? Or is it more like... Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm all tripping all right, fucking yeah, yeah. nutsack on mushrooms. <laughs> it's very it's very identical. Like, the actual... The only thing that's different, I would say, about an identical trip to, like, you know, if you take, I'd say, a tab of acid, like 100 micrograms is probably, like... Two two and a half grams of shrooms or something like that. Oh, it's so a trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a good little solid trip. And um, the only difference is the acid. The high is a little bit higher, but the come down is so rough. It's just like shroom come downs are just you know what I mean. You level off, and then you can probably smoke to get it off, and then you can probably like you know chill somewhere that night. Like you can go somewhere that night, but acid come down is just like your brain's like wired. You're going, and it feels so weird, and you feel shitty. Ugh. It's horrible. Like, there's like an acid hangover that people know, like the day after you don't feel that great at all. Like, you're just, it's weird. It's doesn't weird. sound fun. It doesn't sound fun. Yeah, it's not fun at all. Maybe sure. I won't do acid. It's not that great. It's. It, I mean, I'd say you're not missing really much as long as you're just doing some great shrooms. I like love mushrooms. That's what I'm saying. Same, same. It's awesome. Yeah. I'll just stick with that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'll just take it. That's letting you know because I was supposed yeah, yeah, yeah. to tell you, maybe the acid vlog. Maybe if I find some scientist that's like, no, Ooh, this is this, 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 this one. Yeah. Right, sit me in a stool. Let's dead. film this shit. <laughs> that's a different story. Oh, you feel like a science experiment type of video. That's That'd cool. be awesome. Like the psychic awesome. substance dude. You seen he's that dude? Dope. He's, he's supposed dope. to come here, but he's in Canada. Oh. So there were some border things going on. So that's yeah. the only reason why he hasn't been here. Yeah, yeah. But we talked to him a little bit ago. I'm he's excited. Super he's super dope. I used to watch him. Why? I used to watch him. Way back in the day, when like when I first started, fucking just watching, just I like drug videos. I like the depth that he goes into. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Good shit. And he actually does it. Everything. I it's fucking lit. like that <laughs> shit. 
pretty cool, man. <laughs> He's got a good thing going. Oh yeah. I think I like better better than the Hamilton show. But the only yeah, thing about the Hamilton show, they they travel, they meet this. Yeah, that, that's what yeah, makes yeah, that show yeah. so sick. Yeah. But the psych substance guy, I think, trips harder. Yeah. That's why I like it more. But the great. Hamilton show, sick. I fuck with yeah. that show. He's not like, restricted and shit too. It's good. Yeah, that's cool. I know <laughs> how though. Maybe because it's super educational purposes. I'd say so, not glorified. Yeah, I, I guess so. I don't think he really like. Does he really show him? I guess he just shows. Him. I guess off the side. I guess so. Yeah, and just really telling you and showing you what's going on. Yeah, I guess that's why. It is. Yeah, but the thumbnails. True. Thumbnails are yeah, just the drugs. Thumbnails are crazy. Man, I, I watched <laughs> a guy smoke fucking fentanyl on Softwood Underbelly Belly today. You watched Softwood oh, Underbelly? Yes, yeah. bro. Wait, well, he that smoked it on the on show? YouTube. Yeah. Oh, it was, shit. Excuse me. It was fucking crack and fentanyl together. Oh hell no! What a mixture! What the fuck? <laughs> what kind of mixture is that? Oh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna do these mushrooms. That's Dude, why for what? Crack and fentanyl? That's not fun. That's not fun. Yeah. No fucking thank you. Um, software underbelly is crazy. Real quick, where can everybody find everything that you do? You can find it on Eric Khan on YouTube, Eric Khan.ig on Instagram, and I guess I know what I do with the camera. Oh, yeah, Twitter at Eric Khan underscore. At the end? Yeah. Oh, you're lucky. Oh. Lucky you got <laughs> that one. People <laughs> steal everything. That, that was my Instagram one and got deleted. So we'll see if we can. Oh, that's right. Oh, do you get it the same all the way across? Yeah, oh. I had it the same. Oh, it's so much better, bro. I know, because I can be like, on oh, everything, Eric. I have underscore. so many underscores. I have so many periods and underscores. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, when I type in at dope, it does you, though, so that's cool. That's because you follow me, I think. Oh. It has to be. Yeah, that's for sure. It's has like to stripes. Be. Like, you know, it's your war stripes on social media platforms. Like, like, how many, how many, how many underscores you got? Oh. Six fucking Teardrops. <laughs> that's the digital teardrops. Like, yeah, I got 17 <laughs> underscores, man. But doing this. 25th account. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where everybody can find your shit. Oh, yeah. Anova yeah, sure. Smoke. Novasmoke.com, right? Or yeah, if you, you want to keep up to date with the drop, it's at Nova.ig on Instagram. Nova.ig. Oh yeah, we post where that's gonna be. So what's new for you? What's the next step as you all right, ready? You came here, you were eight days in. Now you're just under nine months. Mm -hmm. What's the next step for you? Because I remember when you said, I'm trying to meet a new person every day. Yeah. And then you went, that's a little unrealistic. <laughs> Let's dial it back a little bit. I'll try to meet another person every week. Yeah. A yeah, new yeah. connection. That's mm -hmm. what's your next step for LA since you you're living here. You're having fucking fun. Right. 100%. You know I mean? You're chilling. Yeah. I'm trying to um, dabble into different industries kind of thing. So my homie's like real connected into like the music shit. Like he does a lot of like music videos and stuff. So like I like dabbling into there. Like maybe connecting weed over there. Like, you know what I mean? Like business people here. Maybe they like weed. Like um, I've been meeting a lot of people in gaming recently that are really fucking with weed from like certain like like FaZe Clan and Optic and shit that are really fucking with weed. So it's I just like, found out who cool. they were like two weeks ago. Yeah. It's God crazy. Put me on. Yeah. It's he crazy, bro. It's crazy. So it just like yeah dabbling into all these like because everyone's here you know what i mean everyone's in l.a the so. fucking the like the culture <laughs> of america is always in la right right so i'm just trying to bring weed to all these places <laughs> that's cool all these little i fuck yeah, with that that's what I'm doing. so your your thing is basically the dot connector from weed to this weed to blank weed right, to that. right 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 that's cool yes yeah, sir all yeah, right sir. you know it's <laughs> kind of funny that you say that you know what i did last night and it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, my homie Ratchet, man. He's a, you know, my homie Ratchet, the, the big dude with the long hair in my videos and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a Spanish artist, like a legit Spanish artist. He okay. does music. He makes music. Right. He got invited to the Kings game. Last night oh, to be like the featured nice. artist or whatever. Yeah. Like they interview him during ESPN Latin and all this shit. He's like, hey, I'm gonna bring my friend. And he sent him my shit. And they go, oh, fuck. We should have him to speak on this. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, that's fine. I don't care. He's like, fool, let's vlog it. So we filmed it. So we did the Kings game last night. Awesome. We go up to the top. I don't speak Spanish, dude. And last oh, night, it's, like a Spanish broadcast. it's a ESPN Latin. <laughs> last night, I was doing the announcement during the second period of the Kings game on oh. ESPN Latin. And I don't speak Spanish, bro. I didn't know what we were doing fully. And as I'm sitting there putting the headset on, I'm like, Oh fuck! Okay, <laughs> we're in all right. So I think his full saying Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. And I'm like, oh, that was a good, that was a good shot, man. That's a good shot. And I don't watch hockey like that. I, just, yeah. I like it. It was sick to go to the game. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it before, but bro, I don't know hockey well, and I don't know Spanish. But last night I pulled it off, and it sounded pretty nice. good. Nice. So no that's the way. other world I went into last that's night with fucking sports. Awesome. Sports. Last night. Bro, 
Sports, he does the bro. Rams too. So hopefully, but you know, next time come do the Rams with me. I'm like, oh, bro, I'll do the whole fucking game with you if it's That'd football. Be awesome. But it was really funny because I can hear them saying Spanish, saying Spanish during Omar's part of the interview. Yeah. So Thomas and he go oh, like, fuck, man, this fool had to stop what he was doing to go back to English on the Spanish network. Fuck, <laughs> this isn't a good look. Not a good look. But it was very funny. Yeah. It was, I can't. It's That's ridiculous. awesome. That sounds it's dope as fuck. It was cool, but at the end, I'm like, I got to learn Spanish, man. That so was you can do the games and the Rams. That'd be sick. That'd the be Chargers cool, games. Because we were talking about it, like late night TV shows, like David Letterman, all these fucking yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Those guys are not going to be around doing the shows for very much longer. For sure. I feel like the, are the shows that we have, like, you're, you have a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your channel is a show. It's you. Right. You're the show. Same right, with right. me. Those, I feel like the ones that are solid, ones that actively post, that actively on their shit, mm -hmm. are going to be around for a long time. I feel like that's the next wave of, oh yeah, like content TV style yeah, things. A hundred percent, hundred percent. Like a Netflix thing is going to be like, no, 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 like those TikToker fools that have the house or whatever. Yeah. I didn't know who the fuck they were. I mean, he they got a Netflix show. Yeah, they have a <laughs> Netflix show. I'm like, no, nobody watches. There's nobody. There's no way right. people watch. Yeah, this. all these networks are going to like because they're all competing. Like fucking even like Vice or something. Like yep. getting to like one of those or. You know, all these like Apple Music or Apple MTV or whatever, they all want original artists and original and, things to go to there. And what you just said, if you're trying to do this with music and try to connect to gaming, those yeah. are the two industries that fuck with weed. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, if you yeah, can yeah, make yeah. the connection on that, because I saw something earlier, you said something about Pine Park. Oh, yeah. What is Pine that? Park. What is uh, that? So Pine Park is a game, or it's not a game company. <laughs> it's a weed company that's out here in California, and it's started by Optic Hex who is the owner of the Optic Gaming kind of clan. And they're an esports team that's been around for, like, I don't even know how long. Things started in Call of Duty, but they're across, like, so many different um, esports now. But he dabbled in the, that for a little bit. He's been building that team, like, creating. I think it's, like, it's one of the biggest, like, fan bases in fucking video games type shit. You know wow. what I mean? It's crazy. Like, their, their fan base goes it's crazy. Mexican guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw a picture with you and him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So he's super dope. So he built a weed company. He just started one. And then um, I, we've been working together for a little bit. And then now I'm doing some marketing and cannabis content for them and shit. And it's dope. They offered me part equity, so I'm a part owner now. Let's go. In, fine fine. In, a, Let's go. in a legal weed company? In a legal weed company. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they sell yeah. weed in the stores? Yeah, 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 in the stores. Let's go. That's Let's how you go. do it. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> so the more content you do for your own shit, the more it's like, but I have equity. Yeah. So yeah. if it does great, I do great. Good, good shit, weed. bro. Good Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Man. That is going to buy you a house in a couple years. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. That's amazing stuff. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> nice. I thought Pine Park was just, I thought it was uh, the, the podcast. Oh, no, no, no. I thought no. it was just the podcast. Because I saw yeah. you on a podcast. I'm yeah, like, oh, yeah. Pine Park. And then right. when we were, I was on your live earlier, I'm like, mm -hmm. let me see what this fool's doing. Yeah. And he's yeah. like, Park, you're, you're all Pine Park. And that's when we got off and I started like getting ready. Yeah, yeah. So that's how they built their, um, that's how they built Optics. Because they had like, they were the only really esports team with a big YouTube channel and like Instagram and content and everything. So, so they're they like, let's do that same thing you. with. Yeah, let's team. do that same thing oh, with fucking weed. Smart. <laughs> smart. Good yeah. good job for them. Yeah. Good job, guys. <laughs> Went and grabbed the guy that, yeah, you really did right. gaming heavily. Right, This right, is right, your right. shit. This yeah, is yeah. Because I already, like, knew them. It was honestly, like, a dream because I already watched all his shit. Like, I watched all, like, his podcast and shit. Like, when he owned the team. Oh. Like, I was super involved. Like, I was so always a big fan. you this guy before? Yes, I was always a big fan, but he didn't know me. You know, Even that type shit. Yeah, for so you, I then. was like, damn, like, and this is crazy to be. Right, to be, like, working with him. You already signed that shit? You already done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's done. A couple days ago. Like, two days ago. Like, two days ago. Thank you, thank you. I yeah, all yeah. right, good shit. Wow, <laughs> thank you, thank bro. You. So they sell in the stores, and now you have yeah. part equity. That's yeah. huge, man. It's pretty awesome. You moved down here in less than a year. You really <laughs> <out> the stores. <laughs> Let's go. Good baby. shit. Go. See, man, I'm yeah. fucking so glad you're moving out here. I was I always tell awesome. Nick, always tell God, I'm like, yeah. bro. You goblins you next. Gotta move out goblins you have next. to. Let's go. That's you have awesome. to. The opportunity, yeah. like you said, now it's, it's crazy. It's it went from finding to sifting through what you want. Right. Right. It's not like. Oh, they're not paying enough. It's more of, I don't want to do that whack-ass product. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that shit. I don't want to do this. That People won't like that. 
if like I said, if you did every single thing, you'd have sixty videos a month. Yeah, exactly. And people don't want. I don't. I know you don't. Right, want that. that'll right, drown right. you. You might as well yeah. just stop doing what you're doing. Like, you know, <laughs> cash out for a month. Like fuck no, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, worth yeah. it. Fuck that. Fuck so that, good, sure. man. So the more content you do, basically, the mm. more content pushes yeah, the weed brand. Yeah, let's go. More legal let's money go. you made. Let's fucking go. It's good like job. Crazy. I'm excited it's for you. you. Thank you. Good man. job, thank man. You, I didn't know that you're a fucking part owner now. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, bro. Well, where can everybody find it in LA? Uh, it's in let's see, Kaliva. It's that's oh, wow. a little uh, dispensary. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's in. You can just check the website for like a list of dispensaries. Pine Park. Kaliva is the main one. Yeah. Pine Park. Yeah, PineParkHQ.com, I believe. Pine Park Pine HQ. Park on Google. Yeah, on yeah. Google, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's where they can find all the shops that they're at. One hundred percent. What's up with the strain coming out? You gonna have a strain coming out or what? Oh, well, we have a uh, an undecided one actually that we're gonna let the fans decide on. Good. Yeah, That's cool. Yeah. So we have this just like the Air Con series. Fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. They knew what they were doing when they were like, yo, you wanna be part owner? Good. <laughs> yeah, fucking run it up. <laughs> Good shit. Yeah. Perfect. It's exactly what you needed, man. All right. Now you don't get paid from YouTube, but That's what you I'm saying. do get paid from YouTube. Yeah. At the same exactly. Time. So it's like it's more motivating at the same of time. Of course. You know what I mean? And like, the fuck, the views are tanking. That's Put bullshit. That sucks. But also, the fans that are there are supporting yeah. you no matter what. Right, right. Even if right. the views are going like, oh, man, fucking YouTube, you dick. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. dipping a little. No matter what, those hardcore fans are there. Yeah, yeah. And now yeah. they can go support you real, real life. Right, right. They're it's gonna. Awesome. It's awesome for sure. That's why I like the, the, the Innova stuff in too, stuff too, because it feels like. Because they know. You're helping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know. They know. Right, and right, you're helping right. out an artist. Yeah, and that's they're the They're helping out thing. just by buying stuff they like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You're just paying someone's, you know, bills at the end. Because all these, yeah, yeah. Because all these artists are like super humble and they come up to me and like, bro, this is the biggest, you know, order I've had in so long. Like, you helped me. Because I bought a lot around Christmas time. They're like, you paid for like my so so and so's gifts. Like, thank you, thank you. Good shit. Like, Like, this is awesome. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's a cool, cool little feeling. Yeah, you you do the recipe, man. You're doing what you like, and you're fucking not hurting anybody, and you're you're just helping. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You got to win the recipe. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. (laughs) <laughs> shit man thank you thank you fuck bro. yeah dude so everybody can find you at ericcon.ig mm-hmm. on instagram yes sir yes sir. youtube Eric on Inst- Eric, Eric on youtube ericcon mm-hmm. no dots no underscores no, no nothing. nothing just the name ericcon yes sir and anova smoke.com yes sir thank yeah we so rant much. we rant out here right okay, all right i try to talking. i try to draw that back in like 20 minutes ago and then we just kept going i'm sorry you just dropped the bomb i mean goddamn i know how did you not bring that shit up man oh shit that's sick thank it's you bro. fucking thank awesome you. yeah I'm really excited that's the about most it. major shit that you could have done yeah so because once that shit gets big and they go oh we'll go we'll marketplace oh you cashed out oh 10 mil oh thanks that's how that shit goes down yeah yeah for sure Ooh, i'm excited <laughs> for you man that's how it's gonna work undisclosed company well right undisclosed uh you, there's a certain company i know you work with and mm-hmm. we'll just say you saw that they sold the other day oh yeah you know who i'm talking about yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that motherfucker got cashed out you know how much money that man made a lot a lot of <laughs> millions off of that. <gasps> oh, that's we're gonna sick. crush this. Yeah, that's how that's you feel, like with yours. That's the potential yours has, right? Right, there. right, for sure. It's exciting. It's, it's exciting, exciting stuff, dude. Man. It's exciting it's stuff for sure. Well, awesome, dude. So everybody out there, <laughs> neither of us get paid on this YouTube yeah. shit. So go ahead and help us out in other ways by I don't know, tell a motherfucker to watch. Yeah, Maybe if you like a shirt, you like some glass, you like mm-hmm. some shit. Maybe buy it for a friend. Maybe buy it for yourself. We're not saying to go buy these things, YouTube. We're just saying, Little by the way, it's, it's, out out there. Baked. it's out there for research. Half baked. I just bought smoking yesterday. You know, we sell this too. That's us. That's <laughs> us with YouTube. You know, we don't get paid, motherfucker. Um, all right. We're just, I'm just going to keep going and rant. My bad. Thank you for hey. being here, man. Thank I don't know how long we've been again, here, bro. but thank, thank you for bro. being here. That was really fucking good. That's He's in all not. stores. El Bunto is everywhere. I've seen yeah. them in all the dispensaries. El everywhere for so you sure. can get the Anova Ice Hash. Is that the only Ice Hash one they got? I mean, they might at the time right now, yeah. That's just bomb. Dope, dude. And I would have uh, puffed on it only if it wasn't bomb. Oh, yeah. But I smoked it. So <laughs> you can see it. I did like it. It was Chiefed very it. good. Yeah, Chiefed it was good. It. Let's go. So thank you for being here, man. Uh, you've been so back. Much, you've officially been here three, with three, three times. Three times. Well, two solos now. Oh, yeah. yeah you yeah. were in the season one, and then we did one with Goblin together. Good. And then that's here you are again. One. I like the update. You've mm-hmm. been here for nine months. Bro, 
And you moved here. Now you own part of a legal weed company. Nine months later, I'm, I'm excited. I'm very yeah, excited for you. This is cool. Yeah. There's not a lot of people out there that I actually look at and watch and go, mm. good shit, motherfucker, because they're doing it right. <laughs> right. There's not a lot. And I know yeah. you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not a lot of people that are like, oh, that's a great move. Oh, shit. <laughs> so congratulations, yeah. man, on everything. Thank you, man. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Marty, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you, guys. You, Little pup. Thank you, thank you. Keto, that's your dog's name? Kento, Kento. Kento, Kento. Yeah. That's where all oh, like He's Kento fucking chilling back here. He, he loves back you. Here. Yeah, he, he loves your ass. Man. So thank you for being here, man. Everybody out there, thank you for watching. Go check out Eric's stuff online. Go watch YouTube. You have to type it all the way in. All right? Because <laughs> Shadow Man, go watch that shit. <laughs> Thanks for being here, man. Thank Appreciate you so, you much, so much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank Until you. Until next time, guys, I am Dope Ziola. Have a dope ass day. Yeah, that was go. fun. That was fun, man. That was a good one, man. Hell yeah. Yo, wow, they I'm gave you equity. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh good shit. <laughs>